Anyway, guys, you guys have seen the auction tournament before, obviously. For those of you that haven't, we are going to put up for auction 16 Marvel 3 teams. All right, you guys are going to bid for it, and whoever is the highest bidder gets to play that team in a single elimination bracket. It's going to be standard tournament rules other than the fact that it's a single limb. So let's go ahead and get that going. Are you guys excited? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm here today, by the way, joined by the great commentary duo, my brothers, Roxy and Southpaw Flash. All right, so how it's going to work this year is we're going to have two character shells. All right, you're going to bid on two characters. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good shell, but you're going to have to randomly draw for that third one. All right? It's going to be fun. There's going to be 16 teams. We're going to do this. I'm going to go down in order here. I'm going to get my assistant to come over here. Like we said, auction tournament about to begin. About to get this auction uh, section started up. Uh, very excited to get it rolling. Uh, this is one of the nicest things about Combo Breaker. One of the coolest things is like the Chicago special at this point, I feel like. Absolutely, man. It's going to be fantastic <laughs> to see the shells that we got going on, what people are going to bid on. Yes. That's the most fun part about these tournaments. Absolutely. And having the uh, kind of random element of the extra character is going to be very, very cool. I mean, if you pull something crazy, you get like some jam session with a point character that works. Uh, for all you know, you're going to have Senpu Boo behind it. You, hey, might, get, you might pull a Shenko, you, you know. You pull a Virgil. <laughs> That's true. I, I don't even know Virgil. We don't even know, for reference, we don't know the team comps. We don't know the characters in the hat. Okay. I have no idea what we're getting into here. Okay, maybe a jam session. Jam <laughs> session, <laughs> definitely. Know, you know, we see a lot of jam session oh, in the meta dude. nowadays. So, sure, we got to put your boy Dante in. Absolutely. We'll see what ends up coming out. But like we said, though, it is going to be very strong. Two character shells that are going to be coming through uh, in addition to these extra characters. And uh, I'm just uh, very excited to see the auction portion as well. Like I said, this is my first time being at Combo Breaker. First time getting to see it live. Let's so go. getting to... Uh, Get to see all these things, see how everybody plays it out. I said a couple people behind us were talking about how much money they got to spend. So I'm excited <laughs> to see how expensive it gets, bro. Definitely excited to get to see how expensive it gets. It looks like we got Tong Lee on stage. I think we're going to be tossing it back up to him in just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Man, you got to bring the wallet. You never know. I we, we got, I've gotten to see the auction tournament once before, and yes. it was fantastic. It's exciting. Keeps the flow going. It, it's so much fun. A little spin on the Marvel game for you. No, definitely, definitely. That and... Uh, I see the, uh, I see the bag too. I see the, the see extra it? characters. Okay. It doesn't look uh, too full, so I think that we're not gonna have every single character available on there, which is actually gonna be even more interesting. I think the one shell I'm looking for is see if there's like the Nova Spencer shell. Yeah, I mean uh, Nova Spencer, Nova Strange. No, Nova Spencer is dangerous, and then yeah. you just add just all they need is one character. Any horizontal, any anything, horizontal, anything theme. that goes in a straight line, yes. and you're in there. Absolutely. You can even have Hawkeye be good. Looks like we're gonna toss up Tong Lee though. All right, all right. So we're gonna start bidding on on the first team here. Hey, we're looking at all those Marvel players over there. Why are they still playing? Auction tournament is happening, guys. Get over here. Come on now. All right, so the first team, everybody's favorite team. Oh, you're going to love this. First one is going to be Nova Spencer. Nova Told you. Spencer. Nova Spencer, let's go. All right, this is what we're doing today. We're doing this today, all right? So we're going to go up $1 at a time, all right? Everything's going to be in $1 increments. I got $1 here on Monday. <laughs> all right, $2, $3. So I got 4 Four dollars, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we got another Nova Spencer player in the crowd now, Ninja Nam. I see you. All right, we got fourteen, fourteen anywhere, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Do I have seventeen anywhere? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 20. We're going to go up by fives from now on. Forget this. Do I got $30? $30. I have $35. $35. $40. $40. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $45. $
Can we show that on the screen, by the way? Can we show that at all times? All right, Nova Spencer. So do I have 70? Do I have 70 anywhere? 70, 75, 80? 85, 85 for anyone? This is the first one, by the way. So we got 80. That's wild. Nitro, you better, you, you better not run nowhere. If you bid and you walk away, you're not welcome back at Combo Breaker no more, by the way. 80? 80 going once for Nova Spencer. 80 going twice for Nova Spencer. Sold for 80 to the not Marvel player. Let's go, <laughs> our hero. All right, if you won, come, come on up. Come on up. Come on up, Dragon Ball player. Come on. 80 bucks for the first one, huh? I mean, it is Nova Spencer, man. That is a dangerous show. That, I mean, that's kind of a, to show it off, like we were talking about. This is serious. They're, we're bidding real shells here. Nova Spencer is, like you said, the damage is there. You just need a character to tag to. Yeah, Mundane wanted him. They did not want him to have that team. <laughs> oh, man. Get him up to get the pull, though. See what his random extra character yes. is going to be. This is the most exciting part. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it, it could be anything, you know? Monday gonna if it Magneto pops up that's gonna be you know that's that's gonna hold the L right there. Well, looks like you gotta you gotta cash out first All though. Right. Gotta make sure you're good for. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see here. What are we gonna pick? What are we gonna pick? Can can we pick up here? Oh, he picked Magneto. Oh, he picked Magneto. Oh, he got Nova God. Spencer Magneto for eighty dollars. That was a that's a this value is buy. That's Shots a good Monday. deal. Damn, that's oh. Monday's team. Monday, how do you feel right now? Terrible. <laughs> you want to? You want twenty? You wanna, it's too late now. It's too late to apologize. Eighty dollars for the first team. All right, we're gonna go on to the second team. Second team is gonna be. It's gonna be some low tier stuff. Low tier. We're gonna mix in a low low tier team. Dante Virgil. Who wants Ooh. Dante Virgil? One dollar, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to ten. Ten dollars. So I got ten dollars. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty. Fifty-five. Do I have fifty-five anywhere? Fifty-five dollars for Dante Virgil. How about sixty? Who wants Dante Virgil plus random for sixty? Sixty dollars anywhere? Yeah, I want him too. Sixty. <laughs> Dante Virgil. Sixty dollars for Dante Virgil. What about sixty-five for Dante Virgil? These are the Sparta brothers, bro. You can't get better than Dante Virgil as a shell, huh? We're, Joey D, we're only at two teams so far. Just wait. <laughs> 70? 70 dollars for Dante Virgil for Ramora. Ramora is about that life, bro. Ramora is about that life. This guy won the auction tournament last year. All right, 75 for Dante Virgil. 75 for Dante Virgil. Oh, my man is serious. Ramora, you got 80 dollars? <laughs> 80 dollars for Dante Virgil. $80. $80 for Dante Virgil. He really believes in the Virgil. This might be the only Virgil in the auction. So, <laughs> all right. We got $80 for Ramora. Do I have 85 for Dante Virgil? There's only 16 teams. There's not that many characters. 85 for Dante Virgil. No? All right. Ramora's got 80 on it. 80 going once. 80 going twice. Sold to Ramora for $80. Dante Virgil coming up to the stage and pick, a, pick the third character. One of the best Virgil players and one of the best random select players. This is a steal for Ramora. <laughs> and now if he gets zero? There's no uh, way. There's, there's no, no it, chance. It can't happen twice. There's no chance. Yeah, it can't exactly. happen twice. He won't pull Skull a second time. It won't happen again. Let's see, though. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what he ends up getting here. Like we said, uh, he does have a Dante, but he was bidding on Virgil there. <laughs> Ramar plays a lot of characters, so anyone in the cast can probably help. You know, Watch him get, like, Super Scroll or something. Oh, come on up to the stage. Come on up to the stage. Antonio. Antonio. Bring him up to the stage. All right, all right, Ramora. Let's see what you got. Oh, don't be looking now. Don't be looking now. I see you. You're cheating out here. I know you. All right. You, zero is in here. I, 
see you. I see you. He's trying to feel for the ink. Tron! He got Tron! And the crowd goes wild. We got Tron Dante Virgil. I can see it. Serbot must die. All right, all right. Third shell, third shell. This is half the fun, guys. This is actually all the fun because I don't get to play. All right, third shell, third shell. You're going to like this. Magneto Dormammu. Ooh, where's Jason Kiddo? Magneto Dormammu. All right, do I have one dollar for Magdorm? One dollar, two dollars for Magdorm. Two, three, four dollars. Do I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dollars for Magdorm. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Do I have 23 for Magneto Dormammu? 24? 25? All right, we're going to increments of five now after we hit 25. $30 for Magdorm. $30 for Magdorm. Do I have 35 for Magdorm? 35. Y'all going to have y'all gonna let Monday get Magdorm? Magneto Dorm for 35? $35 for Magneto Dorm. $40 for Magneto Dorm. Do I have 45? Monday is currently in the lead with $40 for Mac Dorm. 45? 45 for Mac Dorm? This is Magneto Dormammu, bro. 40 is a steal. Jason Kidd won a Texas showdown with this. 45. All right. Monday with 40 going once, going twice. Sold to Monday oh, for $40. 40. Magneto Dormammu. <laughs> 40 is a steal. Now. If he gets Spencer and, or Magneto. Right, come on up here, baby. Come on up here. Honestly and truly, if, if you've got the combos with Dorm, any horizontal assist is great. Man, and, and that's Monday. dangerous. Team. Now, I just want to know, how do you feel about losing Nova, Spencer, Magneto, your main team as the first pick? <laughs> that sucks. That, that sucks big time. Although, I think, I don't know if I would have picked Magneto. I think he just got lucky, and then he just wanted to rub it in my face. I was willing to buy out, but, you know. You're right. You're right. All right. Let's see, let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. I'm feeling Trish. Oh, yeah. Tr oh, what? Amaterasu. We that's like that. Bad. We like that's that. That's a Magneto good team right Dormammu, there. Amaterasu. We can live with that. That's a that's good a team. That's a good team. All right. All right. So, coming up next, coming up next, we got Viper Strider. C oh. Viper and Strider for a dollar. One, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars. Seven dollars, eight dollars, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars for C Viper and Strider. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Do I have eighteen? Eight. No, you already. At, you're at seventeen. You're ahead. You're ahead. Eighteen. Now you can bid. Now you can bid. Eighteen now. Nineteen. I have twenty. Do I have twenty dollars for Viper Strider? $20 for Viper Strider. All right, 21, 21. All right, 22 for Viper Strider. 22, 22. So 23, 23. Okay, Acoustics, you don't even play this game. But all right, I know you got money. That's all that matters. Look, I don't care if you play. All right, $24, 24, 25. All right, Acoustics at 25. We're going to go in increments of five now. Do I have $30 for Viper Strider? $30 for Viper Strider right there. $35. Do I have $35 for Viper Strider? No? All right, we got $30 going once, $30 going twice. Sold Viper Strider for $30. Let's deal. go. Really specialized shell, but a super dangerous. <laughs> High execution. If you yeah. if you have the Viper and the Strider, it don't matter who else you throw in there because that team can have And havoc on high you. commodity in this. Really good X Factor anchor. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You Come need on that. up here, baby. Come on up so, here. Like, let's get you. Let's get, get your third tier character. Meta you know? here. You know you're good to go. You seem lucky. You seem like you might get Virgil. <laughs> Viper Strider is your team. Oh, that's all right. Look, look. Nobody plays Strider for real. Okay, they just play Vajra. <laughs> Oh my God, he did oh. it. He drew Virgil. Oh. 
We got Viper, Ladies Strider, Ladies and Virgil in here. <laughs> Bruh. I can't believe it. This is this is crazy. Dang. That's a great team. Two anchors? All right. Well, after that one. All right. We got a big one up here. Big one up here. Especially for the big body players. My fellow brothers, where are you at? Hulk Hagar. Ooh, Hulk Hagar, $1, okay. $2, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10. $10 for Hulk Hagar. $11. Do I have 12 for Hulk Hagar? 13. 14, Jason. I see you. 15 for Hulk Hagar. 15. Jason's at $14 with Hulk Hagar. 15 right here. 16 for Jason with Hulk Hagar. 17 for Locks. I see you. 18. 19. Do I have $20 for Hulk Hagar right there? 21. 22. 23. 24. Do I have 24 anywhere for Hulk Hagar? 24 for Locks. 25. 25 right now. We're going to go up to increments of five. So unless you're ready to bid 30, put your hand down. $30 for Hulk. Oh, you said he doesn't care. He wants it. Hulk Hagar for $30 for Jason. 35 Do I hear 40 40 for locks? 45 Dude. I mean, uh, that's a Morgan player. Make sure you have money on you, all right? Bring it up here. All right, 45. Do I have 45 for Hulk Hagar? This is right. You might draw a Sentinel. Ooh. Who's at 40? Locks, you're at 40? Yeah. No 45 for Hulk Hagar? Bro, if I could bid, I would win this whole thing right now. <laughs> all right. Locks for 40 going once, going twice. Sold for locks at $40. That's what I'm talking about. This is a shell that can really work. It can. But the third character you get, your assist is going to matter a lot. <laughs> Come on up here, locks. Come well, on up Virgil's here. Virgil's gone. You need something that's going to let you gamma charge to get away with this. Beam, you need a doom. Come on up here. Bring Sentinel that. could work, too, as well, as long as you have I drones. I can't say all that. Anything with beam. Like... Hawkeye. Hawkeye would work with that all team. All right. Let's see what Even, you got, uh, task. You're pretty happy with Hulk Hagar? I used to play Hagar. I used to play Hagar in Vanilla and then at the start of Marvel 3 or Ultimate, so I feel kind of okay. Alright. Uh, uh, this Lox actually plays Hulk Dante, so. Oh, jam session. He wants Sentinel or Dante. Let's see what he gets. He's gonna get Senko, you know it. <laughs> he got oh, Sentinel! Oh he God. actually completed it! Hulk, Hagar, no Sentinel, the are you kidding me? Happening Bruh, today. I've never seen a wow. guy get so lucky. I'm going to lose first round. I just feel <laughs> it. Hulk, Hagar, Sentinel. He bid on Hulk, Hagar, and drew Sentinel. How do you do that? Can someone get this back for me? <laughs> Antonio, please. All right, all right. Bruh, everybody's so lucky except for Monday. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one's a pretty fair team. We got Morgan Magneto. Oh, that's a great Morgan shell. Morgan Magneto. One dollar, two dollar, three dollars, four dollars, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You know I can only count so high. I only fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Y'all not putting your hands down at all, are you? That's all right. I, I respect it. I respect it. All right, twenty dollars. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, we're going up by fives now. All right, 35. Who got 35? 35 for Morgan. 30, 40. Do I have 45? 45 for Morgan Magneto, Jason said. 50? All right. 50 currently at Jabril. 55? All right. 60. Do I hear 60? Jabril says $60. I don't need zero to win. 65 for Morgan Magneto. Morgan. This might be the only Morgan in here. I can't oh. tell you, but 65 right now. 65 for Morgan? No, no. Morgan Magneto, 65. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? No. We had $80 for Nova Spencer. We can't get 65 from where? Morgan Magneto. 
All right. 65 going once, going twice, and sold $60, $60, uh, it was 60, it was 60, sorry. Damn, Jabril, you ain't even want to wait for zero? Nah, I mean, this is a good show. Built a meter, Magneto, self-sufficient. If you pull you zero, you pull I swear zero right God, bro. Come on up here, Jabril, come on up here next to me, baby. I know, this is the best marble player on the planet right now, all right? This is Jabril. Champion of everything. Let's see what he pulls. Thor. He pulled Thor. Oh, no. Magneto, Morgan, Thor. Hey, he that's got... pretty good. That's still all right. You're playing You're playing Morgan. It doesn't got... really matter what you play. He got real beam assist. <laughs> he, he does. He yeah. can definitely and make you that You can work. choose your own assist, guys. You can play in the order that you want. You do not have to play it in the order that you get called. So... It is a shell for a reason. So, damn, that's pretty good. Just lead off with Thor and go into Astral. All right, all right. Next one's actually fair. Next one's actually fair. Captain America and Dr. Doom. Captain America, Doom. Do I have $1, $2, $3, $4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 16 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. $30 right now for Captain, $31 for Captain Doom, 32, 33, what do I got? $34 from Jason, $35, $36, 37. $38, 39 40 41 Do I have 42 There's $42, $43 for Captain Doom. $44. My man is committed. $45. Do I have 40, 46 Of course. I don't know why they come right back to you. 47 Do I have 47 anywhere for Captain Doom? We're going to have $46 going once. Oh, $47 for Captain 48? All right, how about 49? We have 49? 49 for Captain... 50 for Captain America and Doctor Doom. This is getting to be Morgan prices. I like it. All right? $50 for Captain America and Doctor Doom. Do I have anybody else? 51. 52. Bruh, you guys are the reason inflation is happening. You know that, right? <laughs> All right, how about 53? 53? One more dollar. 53. 54. 55. You guys are going to have to share a team or share custody. 56. How about 57? 57? We got 56. 56 going once, going twice. Sold for $56. Captain America, Dr. Doom. I mean, I need friends as loyal as you. Doctor Doom is worth it all. You know what all. I mean? Yeah, he was committed. Any, any, any anchor, and this is for real. Are you, are you their partner? Are you their partner? <laughs> this guy's loyal. <laughs> 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 he had his hand up the whole time. Never let it down once. That's a keeper. All right, who's gonna fun. be the third character? What are we drawing here? No! Oh, he's excited. Phoenix Wright. I've never seen someone get Whoa. so excited for Phoenix Wright. For $56, that, that's his, that's his, that's my character. dude got Captain America, Doctor Doom, and Phoenix Wright. I think that's his team. That's his team, Tom. <laughs> I'm, oh, that's his main? That's what I think. <laughs> Why would you pop off otherwise? <laughs> oh, word? Yeah. Oh, I thought he just didn't read the second word. <laughs> All right, all right. Next one coming up here, we've got Zero Ooh. and Doctor Strange. No. <laughs> all right, we got one dollar here, one dollar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven for Zero Strange? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Ray, are you got your hand up or are you itchy? Or, okay. 
All right. 25 for Z. 26, 27, 28. 28 for zero strength. 28, 29, 30. 31. Do I have 31 for Z? 31 from Jason. 32. $33 for Zero Strange. $34. $35. Okay, $36. All right, how about $37? $37? $37 for Zero Strange, Ram Bam. Come on. $37 <laughs> for Ram Bam. $38. How about $39? $39? $39 for Zero Strange. $39. At least you can do is run up the bid on him. <laughs> $39. How about $40 for Zero and Doctor Strange? And I'll give you a handshake when you get up here. $40. He said, oh, handshake showed me. Oh, we're good. We're good. Huh? What about five? I go by fives? All right. 45 for Zero Strange. Do I have 45 for Zero Strange? All right. Right now, we're at 40. We're at 40 right now. We don't have 45 for Zero that's the best character in the game. Who we got? Oh, shit, all the way back there. Get a, get a shot on him. All right, 45 <laughs> right now for Zero Strange in the back. How about 50? $50. $50 for Zero Strange. Now he out. He said he out. $50 is all I can handle. All right, we got $50. 50 going once. 50 going twice. Sold for $50, Zero Strange. Bro, that's a value pick. That's fifty dollars, bro. That's like you got one of the best in nineteen ninety nine. That's like five dollars. You know, real. like come on, man. Come on up here. Let's see what you got. I hope. I hope you get something good. I believe in you, Is it Spencer. Zero bolts is a bargain, dog. It, yeah, absolutely agree. Oh, we, Trish. Oh, that's a good pick. That, that, Trish is good. good. Neutral though. Zero. Just good team. Strange Hopscotch. and Trish. I'm about it. I can feel that. That's actually a good team. All right. <laughs> you can make it work. Let them know. Let them know. That's uh, a good yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, a for four, for, yeah, that's yeah. crazy for the amount of money you spent. For zero. $50. That's crazy. <laughs> he said, in this all economy. right. All right. Coming up next. Coming up next. For, you know, for all my homies from 2011. Wesker Akuma. Oh. Wesker Akuma. Dollar. Two dollars. Three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. Do I have six for Wesker Akuma? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Living legend, I know you're gonna have your hand up all the way, baby. It's okay. He's gonna spend his child's fucking college tuition <laughs> out here. All right, sorry for the cursing. I'm not allowed to curse. All right, do I have $16 for Wesker Akuma? $17, 18 What about 19 19 All right, $20 in the front row for Wesker Akuma. $21 back there. $22 for Wesker Akuma. $22, 23 24 $25, $25. Do I have $26? There we go, Jason. $27 for Wesker Akuma. $27, $27, $28. What about 29 for Jason? 30? 31? 32. Do I have $32? Well, look at Living Legend. Look, bro, show me Living Legend back there. Bro. Let's go. Kids, you're going to have to break your piggy bank. Your daddy needs to win this. All right? <laughs> your daddy needs Wesker Akuma. All right? Do I have 31? $31. $31. $31. Thirty-one. What about thirty-two? Thirty-two? Thirty-three for Wesker Akuma? Nah. Thirty-two? That's, that's the highest we're going? Living Legend, you got thirty-three dollars, bruh? Your hat looked like it's worth at least ten. So <laughs> You got thirty-three dollars, Living Legend? Thirty Living Legend, you raising your hand, that's a big. What's he saying? I can't hear him. Nah? Thirty-two dollars? That's all we got? $32? Going once, going twice. Wesker Akuma sold for $32. This is a Cheapest sneaky good value game on right this team. Crazy honest. good. Tatsu assist is amazing. Wesker can be played in any position. Honestly and truly, one of the one of the sneakiest values oh, we've absolutely. seen so far. And the crazy thing is, is like
What happens if he draws Chris and Legend did not? Hey, if he draws Chris, it's it. over. Yeah. If he draws Chris, this is scripted. I don't. Hundred percent, this scripted. I don't care. <laughs> all oh, right, here we go. Good. All right, all right. Let's see what we're drawing here. Good luck, brother. Oh, you got a you got a blank piece of paper. You have to play two characters. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Someone messed up. Come on back. Amaterasu again. Amaterasu. Come back up That's here. Come back up here. That's a very good team, actually. Here. Ami? I yeah. like that shirt. Rise of Rookies. If y'all don't know about Rise of Rookies, by the way, they've been hosting uh, a lot of beginner-friendly Marvel tournaments. So if you're trying to get in on that, definitely hit that up. All right? Big shout out. All right. All right. So we love Rise of Rookies. Yeah, Absolutely, take this man. Next one is going to be Wolverine... Virgil. Oh, Daywalker show. Wolverine and Virgil. Yo, that's a banger. Th this one's going to go up. Oh, we already got the bids. One, two, three, four, five. See the hands five. are everywhere. Do I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hand, Angelic, no, 18, bro. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26 in the back, 27, 28, come on, Wolverine Virgil, 29, 30, 31, 32, $32, 33, all right, $33 right now for Jay, 34, 35, all right, thirty-five dollars right now. We're gonna start. We're, you're, Jason, you already got it. You stop raising your hand. You already have it right now. Thirty-five dollars. All right, thirty-six. Do I have thirty-six dollars? Has Jason got it for the thirty-six in the back? I see you. Thirty-seven. Jason says, "Just give me Virgil." Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty for Jason. Jason's at forty. We're going up by five now. Forty-five dollars for Wolverine Virgil. Who wants Wolverine Virgil for $45? Angelic, I'm looking at you. Huh? You might draw Schumer. <laughs> you might draw Schumer. Wolverine Virgil. He's Angelic said $45. Let's give it up for Angelic. Give him a round of applause. He ain't won yet, though. Jason, you got 50 Jason said $50 on it? Oh, uh, Angelic said you can have it. Anybody? $55 for Wolverine Virgil. No, going once, going twice. Sold to Jason, the Morgan player. Even if you've never played Wolverine, Virgil at 50 is a steal. Absolutely, <laughs> so we'll take absolutely. A, we'll take a $50 That's, Virgil. <laughs> and he can get a character he plays right here. He oh, has sure. three chances. Yeah, Let's absolutely. Be Two chances. Jason Game Dev, one of the founding fathers of Parsec. One of the reasons TNS exists today and now... Wolverine player. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Iron Man. Iron Man. That's what oh, you get. No. That's what you get. You should have let Angelic have his Wolverine. <laughs> this is your fault. You did it to yourself. Counterpoint. He has a beam. The beam is <laughs> he has great. A beam. <laughs> the beam is definitely great for Wolverine and Virgil. Let's be real here. But you got to play Iron Man. All right. All right. So, um,. Actually, I need a little help from uh, production here. Look, how, oh, we already got nine teams picked. Right, look at that. Look at the money in this pot, guys. $468. This is a best of one Ooh. bracket, by the way. Um, I need some help from production here. because uh, That is crazy just for the teams right there. Yeah, honestly, getting to see him uh, all up there. Hulk Sentinel Hagar, unbelievable. Viper Strider Virgil, unbelievable. <laughs> These are some crazy team comps. Uh, well, I mean, look, I'm looking at the Viper Strider team, the Virgil for 30. Like, that is Virgil absolutely nuts. That meanwhile, is the one that gets me right Meanwhile, there. we got the Brothers in Tron at 80? 80 bucks. Nitro also broke the bank for Team Monday. I think they just didn't want Monday to get his team. Let's be real here. I know you didn't know about Magneto being picked, but... Hey, that was still a super strong team in the meta nowadays. Yeah, we'll take it. Good stuff so far. A couple more to go. Well, we're getting there. All right, all right. We're back. We're back. We only got a few more teams left here. How many more teams do we have? So. 
Did I miss a team? Six? Show me the bracket again. Six teams. Six left? He's getting, he's getting there. All right. All right. So we're going to go with this next one here. I got this is the last this is the last one of this character. So I'm going to let you know. Nova Strange. Oh, that's a good Nova show. Strange. Nova Strange. One dollar for Nova Strange. Two dollars. Three dollars. Four dollars. Five dollars for Nova Strange. Six dollars. Se do I have seven dollars back there for Nova Strange? Eight dollars for EMP Obama. Nine dollars. Ten dollars for Nova Strange. Ten. Eleven dollars for Nova. Twelve dollars for Nova Strange. All right, who's got some strange Novas? Come on. Thirteen dollars. No, nah, this is your main team. Fourteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for Nova Strange. I didn't even know you were gonna be here this weekend. <laughs> sixteen dollars for Nova Strange. Who's got sixteen? Sixteen dollars for Nova Strange. Seventeen dollars for Nova Strange. Are you just yawning? Are you raising your hand? I don't know what you do. Seventeen dollars for Nova Strange. Do I have eighteen dollars? Eighteen dollars for EMP Obama. Do I have nineteen? Nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars for Nova Strange. You can't outbid yourself. All right. All right, all right. Do I, where's 20? Where's 20? All right, 21. Do I have 22 for Nova Strange? Nova Strange. 22 for Nova Strange. All right, I got Nam with 22 for Nova Strange. Where's 23 at? I got no 23? $23 for Nova Strange. Now, nah, we're going to go at 22. This is the cheapest team in the game. I'm about to raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pay with card? Um, hold on. Let me ask my boss. If if no one else raises their hand, I'm I'm buying this one. I don't I'll, care. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I don't care. Nova Strange, are you kidding me? Are you I'll, serious? I'll run the solo. Get up there, Boxy. <laughs> you know the deal. I'll play from here. Stick will reach. It'll be good. That's value right there, bro. <laughs> are you going to commentate your own match? I don't care, dude. You'll figure it out. <laughs> you can Venmo me. I have cash. Oh, okay. Okay. Good option select. 23? 24? 25. Do I have 25? Nova Strange. 26? $26. $26 for Nova Strange. Oh. 27? Man, you ain't even got that much in your Venmo? <laughs> 27? What about 28? Do I have $28? Nam, I know you got a bunch of money, bro. You look like you program stuff. I'm not trying to racially profile you, brother. I mean, we're the same race, so we can, I can say that. All right, all right. How about $28? $28? <laughs> Show me the money. All right, all right. We got $28. What about $29? Nah, we're done. We're going to let him have it. It's Jacob's 20. Oh, it's Nova Strange right now. All right, $29. You got $29? All right, what about $30? $30. No, now you oh, want it. $31? Y'all going to let Liberal Terminator take it for $30? Don't give oh, him he got no, no. He plays Sorry. strange too. Are you at thirty-one? You're out of cash. I mean, you can just bet on me. I got you. <laughs> at thirty-one. Look, I can't let these go for cheap. All right. Look, I gotta raise this auction up. All right, that's my job. Thirty-two. Thirty-two dollars. Uh, you gotta raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> Look, I know you just graduated high school. You know how to raise your hand. All right. All right, what about 33? Can we get $33? 33, 34, 35? Look, well, some of these teams have gone for 80. All right, this is this is a bargain, all right? What about 35? $35, 36. Come on, y'all thinking about it too long, brother. You can't even get a tank of gas with $36. $36, 37, 37. No, we're going to let we're going to let LT win the tournament for 36. 37, 38. Don't let him get it. Don't let him get it. 39, 40, 40 dollars, 41. Okay, okay, we're going by fives now after 40. 45 dollars, 45 dollars. They have 50? You got 50 bucks? 50 dollars from Ninja Nam, let's go. All right, how about 55? Look, LT's hand permanently raised now. He's trying to go to the restroom. <laughs> 60? 60, oh, oh 65, 70, 75. That's crazy. 
75, going once. He said, I don't know, I gotta fly home. <laughs> 75 for Ninja Nam. How about 80? Can we get 80? $80 Dang. already. Damn. How confident are you feeling, Nam? You wanna put 85 on it? <laughs> You're gonna let him have it? $80 for LT, going once. $80. Oh! oh no, said, Give me five, five more on it. 85 right now. All right, LT said put 100 on it. He, LT said he got 100 on it. That is the most Yo. expensive team of the, of the day. $100. Do you have 105? <laughs> you out? Nam says, I'm out of here, bro. Give it to the kid. Nah. Liberal Terminator, Nova Strange. I don't even have to say it. He won. I don't think anybody else has <laughs> 105. Dude, I mean, LT getting Nova is a problem. <laughs> Spencer Stone. Nova bag. Strange. Bro, you spent all of your allowance on Nova Strange? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be your third character, though? If I swear to God, if it's Spencer. If it's Spencer, it's over. It's over. Be Spencer. We know this. You can't look. Crowd is chanting Spencer. Wesker! Oh, that's, that's, that's still good. Still good for that team. Strange works. Uh, Strange uh, Wesker bolts is, is fine. Yeah, That's you fine. can teleport. I mean, Wesker is very simple to all play. Right, man. That's right, the best right. part about him. Even if you don't know how to play him, we're looking you good can still here. We're navigate. looking good. I like it. The hundred bucks. Got my belt pack. It's the biggest one there. That's that's not even zero in Dante. That's twenty dollars <laughs> more. <laughs> Sentinel? You said Sentinel? You have to draw for Sentinel. Maybe. <laughs> All right, right, all right. Next one, next one. Uh, Spider-Man Doom. Spider-Man Doom. That's a good show, though. Spider-Man Doom. Oh, we got Spider-Man Doom player over there. One dollar for Spider-Man Doom. Little Monix in the back. This is perfect $2 for, for, for Spider-Man Doom. Three dollars, four dollars for Spider-Man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty dollars for Spider-Man Doom. Just remember, you draw the third character, so technically you're just getting Doom in a random. If you don't play Spider-Man, you still got a pretty good shot. I like Ray Ray to win that. Twenty-one dollars. <laughs> a little Monix. Twenty-two dollars back there. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-four dollars for Spider-Man Doom in the back. $25 from Little Monix. What about $26? $26. My dude's hand is not going down. $27, $28, $29, $30. All right, we're going by fives now. $30 is over here. $35 for Little Monix? What about $40? He said his, his hand not moving. $45, $50, $55? Oh. $55 from Little Monix for Spider-Man Doom. Do I have $60? Airborne says he got $60. Oh, yo. 65 from Little Monix. How about 70? 70, 75? <laughs> All right, I got, I got Airborne at 70 right now. 75 for Little Monix for Spider-Man Doom. Damn, Airborne, you got money like that. $80, 85 back to Little Monix. $85 for Spider-Man Doom. Little Monix going once. Oh, oh my god! My. Airborne said, I got $90 for Spider-Man Doom? Are you kidding me? My dude's got his hand permanently fixed in the air. 95. 95. <laughs> <laughs> for Little Monix. 95 for Little Monix going once, twice. Let my man have it for $95, please. Stop raising your hand. Dude, man, that is the most nuts. expensive Spider-Man, bro. I it's mean, all, Monix is one of the best Spider-Man players uh, in the business, so this is, a, this is a great thing for him, having missiles, obviously one of the best extensions assist for Spider-Man. He said we had most right. of the Spider-Man players at this uh, tournament when this happened. $95 for Spider-Man, bro? <laughs> he knows. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he guesses. All right, all right, little Monix. This is one of the best Spider-Man players I've we ever seen, by Dante the way. Don't look, though. Don't bag. look, though. Like, you got to turn away. Hawkeye's still in the bag. Hey, no, Dante's like, there. Not Hawkeye, completely. Yeah. Just turn your head, bro. Spider-Man players don't have no direction. <laughs> All right, pick it, pick it third, pick it third. I hope you get a good one. You deserve Hawkeye it. Hawkeye time, baby. Uh oh. Ryu. Oh no. 
I, I mean, you get a Tatsu, could which could help. It you could you be, run could missiles, Tatsu? Fist. You what have you make something. You, have you can make it work. Exactly. $95 for Spider-Man Doom Ryu. Can you believe that, Proxy? I just, uh, the Ryu makes it a little tough, you know, but we got Tatsu. We got Tatsu. Tatsu, make it work. <laughs> all right, all right. So, we got a little treat. We got a little treat. Jabril, I'm so sorry. Jabril, you already got a team, right? Where's <laughs> Jabril out there practicing his team. All right. So the next two, the next next show is going to be Zero Dante. Oh, my God. Every hand in the crowd oh. just shot up. All Every right. single. One, two, <laughs> three, Joey, this is four, Joey. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Joey 11, 12. It. All right. We're just going by fives from now on. 15, <laughs> 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. 75 from Rambam for Zero Dante. Do I have 80 over here? 80, $80 from Jacob, EMP Obama. 85? 85 for Ray Ray for Zero Dante. $90 from Joey D. Wow. 95? 100 from Rambam. We're already over 100. 105 from Jacob. Let's go. 110. Do I have $110 for Zero Dante X? I don't know who that third character is going to be. $105? $110, I'm sorry. $110 for EMP Obama. There it is. There $115 it is. $115 for Joey D. Let's do it. Let's do it. $120? Bro, how much money do you have? <laughs> $125 for Joey D. I know Joey D got that money. $130 for Clean EMP Obama. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. $130 for EMP Obama. Damn. Jacob, you hate you hate Joey that much. <laughs> 130 for EMP Obama. Joey, do you have 135? Uh, all right, all right. EMP Obama steals it at a low, low price of $130. <laughs> Zero Dante, so strong here. It's, it's gonna obviously he has this team, but it matters what he's my gonna pull man. the third. My man, look at the look at my man's shirt though. I love this. The Grassy? <laughs> <laughs> my man got Jimmy Brooks okay. on there. The best, Baby Drake? <laughs> best possible draw, Frank West. All yeah. right. All Obviously, right. man. Frank I mean, is in here. You yeah. Frank is in yeah. there. He's in there. He knows. <laughs> Every character is in here. So, And the lower the tier of the character, the more often they're in here. That's hella Frank West in there. <laughs> there must Don't be look, 10 of them. Look away now. Look away now. Heart of the cards guide me. Heart of the cards guide me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not the heart of the cards, bro. Here it is. Oh, he seems so-so. Arthur! Oh. Daggers were in there! <laughs> you, you Arthur, I'll take that. I'll daggers. take that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, looks That's pretty good. Arthur's good. So, $130 for zero Dante Arthur. Damn. Joey D, that could have been you, baby. <laughs> Man, that was too deep for Joey D's pockets. You know. <laughs> Joey D. All right, all right. Three more teams remain. Three more teams remain. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a nice, clean, fun team. Deadpool Hawkeye. Oh, where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? There he is. One dollar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I think these guys' arms are broken because they're not coming down. 39 for Kevin. 40, 41. All right, we're going by fives. We're going by fives. All right, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. They're not going down. 100? $100. Do oh, he said 105. I got 105 on it. Kevin, you're 110? 110 for Kevin. 115? 120? Oh 125. 125 right here. 125. Kevin, you gonna put 130 on it, baby? What you got for me? 
Oh, come oh. on. He said, we're going to be eating ramen for a month. Yeah. $130 okay, for Joe Kevin. Let's go. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin. That's not even a dollar an arrow yet. Keep it going. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> 135? No way. 140? Oh, 145. God. He lives here, too. Yeah, 145 going once. 150 oh. from Dylan. Oh, no. 155? He said he out. He's out. Oh, Kevin, my you God. got it. $150 for Dylan Kevin. We got... What, what what character did I say? I said uh, Arthur Arthur Iron Fist, right? One hundred and fifty. No, no, that wasn't it. Deadpool Hawkeye for one hundred and fifty dollars. Come on out, baby. Listen, if if they're selling your main team, you might as well open up the pocketbook. Now, <laughs> now you praying for Dante? Damn, Let's be bro. real here. I hope the economy's been good to you, brother. <laughs> I don't care who I got. I got my boys. I'm good. <laughs> this better not be Dante. I swear to God. It's over. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, oh we're, we're losing. We're losing papers. Losing. Oh no. That's because he pressed H so much. Yeah, he needs to stop. Too much bicep. <laughs> He's shaking that <laughs> damn bag. All right, baby. All right. Look away. Look away. Look away. All right. You, you, can, you can. You got it. You got it. I'm nervous. <laughs> Hagar. That's actually That's fine. great. That's fine. That's great. We take those. Plan point, meat shield, battery, baby. That's actually great <laughs> for the Hagar, team comp. Hawkeye, and Deadpool. And you can play your team however you want. Yeah. Whatever assists, whatever order. He's going to use violent axe assist. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Two more to go. We are getting close, man. Dude, the 150 for All Deadpool right. Hawkeye. Two teams Absolutely left. Not. Two teams left. MODOK Sentinel. Oh, that's kind of a banger. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars <laughs> for Modoc Sentinel. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Ray just wants Sentinel, baby. Twenty-eight dollars back there. Twenty-nine, thirty for Ray. All right, we're going up by fives now. $35, $35, $40, $45, $50. Do I hear $50 for Modoc Sentinel? We got $45 for my man in the back. Ray said $50 for Ray Ray for Modoc Sentinel. Do I have $55? $55? Fifty, no, you think it's $55. $55, $55 in the back row. Do I have $60 for Ray Ray now? $60, $65, $65, $65 no? $60 at Ray Ray right now. Do I have 65 from Modoc Sentinel? This is the second to last team. There's only one more team after this. There's only one more team after this. $65 right now. Or did I say 65? So, so I'm sorry, $60 for Ray Ray. Anybody got 65? No? Oh, Apology Man has no. $65 <laughs> on it. <laughs> 70 for Ray Ray. 70 for Ray Ray. We're gonna let Ray Ray have it. No, Apology Man said no, you can't play today, bro. <laughs> $75 for Apology Man for Modoc Sentinel. He don't play either one of these characters. He play either <laughs> $80 for Ray Ray. $80 for Ray Ray. Do I have $85 from Modoc Sentinel? Oh my oh, god. Again. $85. We got all that Red Bull money. I see you. <laughs> $85 for Apology Man. $90 for Ray Ray, though. We're right back to Ray Ray. $90. Why is Nitro handing him money? <laughs> we are influencing the market right now. <laughs> $95 for Apology Man. Do I have $100 for Sentinel and whatever other character I just said? I don't remember. <laughs> We're just bidding on Sentinel. <laughs> $95 right now for Apology Man. Ray, we got $100 for Ray oh. Ray. $100 for Ray Ray, Modoc, Sentinel, and a random character. Do I have $105 anywhere? Oh, oh my no. God, can you stop? No. <laughs> <laughs> Apology <laughs> man, going for $105. Modoc, Sentinel, no $110. We're done. Going once to Apology man, going twice for $105. And sold to Apology Man. 
Modoc Sentinel. That's Let's go. Come on right up here. There. This is about to be a banger YouTube video. <laughs> well, I mean, scrolls, scrolls low tier. I can see your YouTube There could be a now, lot baby. of scroll in there. That's what I'm saying, brand. dude. That's the the, the <laughs> title's going to be crazy. What's the title, Proxy? Uh, listen, I listen. I, 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 <laughs> Dude, yeah. he said, "Dual Kevin spent 150." I wasted 105 dollars <laughs> to play Modoc for one game. <laughs> All right, let's go. Who's that third guy gonna be? A little scroll time. Could be scroll. Firebrand. They're low tier. Spencer. Oh, that go. That's good. That's pretty strong. That's Spencer, great. Spencer Sentinel, bro. If this was 2012, Knives would win this. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. We got. One last team, guys. It's almost over. We can finally play. And remember, the bracket is going to be a 16-player bracket, single elimination, first to three. All right? Over a G. Over 1,000 in the pot. 1,098, bro. That's a lot of money, Proxy. <laughs> That's a lot Plus, of money. Though, you, could, you could get another hat. I, I can't count. It's too Proxy, much. you could regrow your hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough money in the world, Tong Lee. All right. The last team. The last shell. Dante Doom. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> That's it. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I feel like I'm teaching Sesame Street. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, Rainbow 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we're going by fives. 25. You should go by 10. 25. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Do I have 90? 95 for Rambam? 100 for Joey D. $100 for Joey D right now. All right. Do I have 105 for Dante Doom? This is the absolute last team. Just take it from Joey. Look, if you got extra money to spend, <laughs> just go ahead and do it. $100. $105. $110, $115, Ray Ray, do it, do to him like Apology Man did to you. $120, <laughs> $125 going, $125, I got Joey D at $120. $125 for anybody? No, this is the last team. You're not, you're going to miss out on the last auction of, who knows, $125 for Ram Bam. Oh, he, he wants Ram the team. Ram Bam's at $125. Do I got $130? Boy, look at that Louis Vuitton bag you got. I know you got <laughs> money in there. $130. And, oh, and show me the flip-flops. Can you show me the flip-flops on this man? Bro, look, he got the Gucci slides. Come on, bro. Just put the flip-flops in the pot. Joey? All right, $140. Do I hear $140 from Ram Bam? Or anybody. Anybody can bid. This is open to everyone. If you're just rich and you just happen to be in here, bro, $140, <laughs> give it to me. Who's got it? We're giving it to Joey? We're going to let Joey win it? $135 going once? $135 going twice? Sold to Joey there D for $135. Oh there it is. Let's go. I don't know. Dante if, Doom? I don't know if Zero's in this bag, but this could be the ender. Oh, uh, we're due for Hasenko. We're due for Shinko, that's true. Yeah, we do. Well, look at this. You know he got money. <laughs> that's a $1,000 bag he rocking at least. Honestly, I just wanted to be involved, and then there was doom, so. <laughs> true. Hey, hey, keep, we're keep there, it we're there. All right, look at that camera as you pull. Come on, Zero. Shuma. Oh. Shuma. Shuma. Oh. We'll take that. Shuma we'll play a little Dante really doom good. Shuma. Hey, that was pretty good. That's all 16 teams. Show me that bracket one more time. Wow. Bruh, Let's go. $1,233 in the pot. This is about to be a popping tournament. All right. I'm going to pass it off to my boys, Proxy and Southpaw. They're going to carry you the rest of the way. Bruh, I'm ready to see this action, though. Thank you, guys. Dude, a lot of money getting tossed around. A lot of team getting tossed around. Pretty ridiculous stuff to see. I think the scariest thing about auction is when you're kind of watching it whittle down and you see a team that you know that you like, as it kind of goes around, you're like, am I ever going to get another opportunity like this, right? Only 16 slots, man. So, you know, you got to put the money out there. <sighs> you seen it. Dual Kevin wanted his team. LT came through. Joey at the last second coming in. He's getting the yeah. bracket, man. You just need a shot. And yeah. There's 16 shots. They got a little bit of drama as well. The little, the, the Vanith and Ray Ray. We got uh, Nitro pulling Monday's team from out underneath him. There's just... 
There's a lot. That was the best part that he pulled Magneto and Monday had a chance at his oh whole squad. God. Yeah. So we'll see how it ends up, how the bracket ends up shaking out, what the matchups are actually going to be, and how we're going to have this thing shake down. Like we have reminded you, this is a 16 player tournament. And uh, it is going to be single elimination. Yeah, single elim, man. So one shot, first to three. It's going to be exciting. I'm ready to get this going. But before we get into that, we are going to throw it to a quick ad. And then we are going to get into our single elimination bracket. So we'll be back in just a moment to bring you the auction here at Combo Breaker 2023. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They'll handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago. Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023. My name is Prox. Joining my left, as always, Brandon Ospel, Southpaw Flash. How you doing, sir? I am so ready for this auction tournament to get started. Absolutely. So we have already had our draft, if you have missed that. Uh, otherwise, we are getting into this bracket. First to three, single elimination, top two payouts, 70-30. So Seven. we're going to have the winner is going to take home the lion's share of this giant. It's over $1,200. That's a big pot yeah, for an auction lot. tournament. Let's be real here. Definitely <laughs> a lot of money. I mean, the teams were enticing, though. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about the auction that we're doing now is that since we were selling off shells, and people knew what they were getting, they were a little more excited to spend a couple extra dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then on top of that, you could pick whatever, you know? Yep. Like, there's a few players that missed out on their teams. Yeah, cool. We had a couple of people get their uh, their main team swoosed down from under them, but we'll see. Uh, one of those players actually is going to be in our first match. It's going to be Monday coming up first, getting off against Soldado Soul. So, Monday, obviously, a prolific player, does incredibly well online, offline, everywhere in between, and has continued to find success. And honestly, he's coming into Combo Breakers, one of the favorites to win the, the whole the whole damn thing. He's picked to win Evo, right? <laughs> like. Listen, I, I'm not ready to do my pick yet. <laughs> Soldado Soldo, obviously coming in, has uh, bid on themselves a pretty ridiculous team here, having Viper Strider. So That's a very strong I, team. I think also, I think they got Virgil. It was Virgil. It was Virgil. it was Virgil. It was Virgil. So we're playing some double anchor stuff because that's one of the hard things about playing uh, situations like this and playing uh, when you have one character you know that's coming in strong is a lot of the time snapping is the answer. Play the characters that you know. Snap the threat. Go for the X factor. In things where there is randomness, that is usually the answer. Double anchor kind of... As a, that's a big wrench in there. Well, even on top of that, with, with the auction format, you actually don't know which character he's more comfortable with. Like, yep. you don't know if it's Strider or Virgil. So, like, you can't actually get rid of the threat early as you want. You might as well almost just play through the team. We'll see, though. I mean, Monday, obviously, a very, very strong Magneto player in his own right and gets Cold Star, which is very, very good for lockdown. This guy, his incomings are already very strong, so and it doesn't need much help. And that's going to be Virgil Point, actually, coming oh, from the okay. other side. And up here, gets the first hit, is able to get it with the Cold Star. It's going to be very scaled, but still potentially going to be able to go into the TAC. See how we finish it. Oh, he got these. Okay, going for the snap here. Going after Strider. He is a good Dark Anchor. Very squishy. And checks the leg. So that should do it there for the Ninja. Viper and Virgil, obviously, still huge threats to be able to finish this up. But that is going to be a dead Ninja for sure. All right, Tempest for the kill. Keep it simple. 750,000 health here. Should be more than enough with the setup of the Stalking player for the Dormammu. Yep. Okay, little kiddo action. I like the way you're setting that up. Gets the cold star. Tries to check the low. Oh, oh the throw there from Monday. Yeah, I like that. That was unfortunately a rip push block there from Soldado. And I uh, had an opportunity, but those are hard to react to. But a little too far from the corner and almost gets happy birthday. It's going to be hard to approach Magneto with the Viper here. Oh, what a oh, throw out of Seismo. Oh. Monday. And that is matchup knowledge there. Spaced from that distance, unless it's EX Thunder Knuckle, I'm pretty sure most things there can get grabbed. So a good situational awareness from Monday can be able to take it down, leave it to the anchor. Four bars, almost five, but no X for Virgil. And with the setup here, you can't even press on incoming, so you're going to have to eat this mix up. <laughs> Who said we can't press on incoming? I stand corrected. That's Virgil, y'all. But that is going to be a finish, though. That's going to be the first game to Monday. Doesn't that one out? Good stuff. I mean, I like the Hellbreaker. I like the confidence. If you're going to go for create wild, the wild and crazy stuff, do it early. Let them know. You have to add it to the mental stack. That's definitely fair. You know, next time he knows that coming in. 
All right, Swords booted up here for Soul, trying to get the pressure with the Strider. Lunar phase, though, and look how he chicken guarded it. Yep. Perfect block, perfect defense, earns the hit. Unfortunately, drops the combo, but still has Cold Star for the reset. Drops it again, though. He's not used to the hit stun scaling. That's where that random character factor comes in. Oh, man. I would figure Soul would probably kill Magneto. He's going to go for the teleport. If that's behind, nothing personal. It's time to press. Oh, Socket Flare too fast. Into the Cold Star. Oh, going for the side switch. What a throw from Mundane. Yeah, mix up time. Good for Soldado to be able to get out of the first layer, but the second one, unfortunately, a little too sticky. So now Viper may be on the TAC. No, we're just going to look for a reset here. Burn kick. Okay, look for the low. Actually catches, but no, the faint a little too early. Yeah, unfortunately, that's one of the hardest things about it. And we get the punish. Yes, absolutely. Yo. Vajra is there. This is the shell we've been on. It oh, gets the unblockable. Let's go here. You can get the kill. Maybe get an X. I'm an X. No, oh, that's going to no, do zero Legion. damage. Legion does no damage, but you got Strider in, so you got to get the hit here. Closing the distance. Stand H, looking for something. All right, got to watch the Cold Star. Teleport Monday almost had it there. Yeah, Vajra. I was going to say, don't be afraid to go for Vajra in neutral, especially against characters like that. Yeah. He's going to build level three. He should be able to kill. Tech four, call assist. Too strong in this instance for Monday. Dark Dimension, level three, going to get the kill here on Strider. Okay, we have X this time, and Viper was the character that seemed to be getting most of the hits last time. Unfortunately, sneaky. there's a trade. Gets the X. You're going to go for the flight combos. That's going to drop. Look for them. Oh, Raw Launcher. Oh, there we go. Monday getting the throw here, but no OTG. We have a bar. Still has an EX. X is running out. Be careful about how you approach this. Dark hole is punishable, but unfortunately, we'd already committed to something. And Monday comes down with the fish hook. That is going to be the kill. And that's going to be two games to Monday now, but that's significantly closer. You're looking good, man. Game point here. So, so I had a chance that game. Yeah. Okay, maybe switch the, uh, the order up, maybe, or an assist? Yeah, maybe the assist. Or a uh, Viper Point, I think, also would be good. I think that usually Viper Point was uh, what you would expect to see from a team yeah, like this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but you put Virgil second, and the mid spot is good. Viper, like you said, you can use the meter, get something going with the team. And we've seen plenty of people be successful with Virgil Strider uh, as a secondary shell and popping that X-Factor early with X-Factor 2. Oh, no. Drop off the burn kick there. Got to look for the Vajra. And notably, Magneto's one of the best characters in the game at punishing Vajra. He is exceptional Stand at H. it. S, very strong. Here we go. TAC getting to the side here. Going to build some meter three bars on deck. It's just going to go for the OTG. Doesn't want to go for anything else. Vajra might actually answer. So, yeah, the DHC is very good. Build to protect the characters. Oh, going to get a look here with the tri-dash. Oh, got the throw between, but Stalking Flare kind of messed it up. That was too many cooks. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my God. Still gets the hit. Okay, Magneto should go down here. Has a bar. Oh, no, a little too far. Needed the M Thunder Knuckle there. Oh, no what way. a call out. Okay, Dormammu coming in. Gonna set up for the unblockable. Good push block timing. Monday avoids it. That is not a truly inescapable unblockable. Got to hit the timing just right for them to work. Okay, Strider bleeding out. Got to be careful. No more Vajra calls. Full star. For something. Okay, we're gonna super DHC out into Virgil. No, you don't have meter. But that's fully invincible. No, you cannot use a projectile against that. Coltar wins the day again, though. This is so strong for Monday's team right now. Get the teleport. Look for something. Crouch H almost had it there in the tech forward from Mundink. Oh, but he doesn't know the combos. He doesn't know how to play Doramu. Strider. Okay, one more. Just Helmbreaker. You got the kill here in Dorm. Soul has a chance to get on the board here. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Definitely the weakest character on the team here for Mundink, if I had to guess myself. There's not a lot of oh. dog players. And this is going to be an X. High time X. No, uh -oh. we're going to cash super. Giving him a chance. We don't have another super. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! Not like this. The Ford H combo. He knows it. It's too fast. <laughs> it's too fast. Fast and Virgil's buttons. Here we go. Slow down here for Soul. Still okay. Gonna Again, go. another one. Yeah, slow down does help. Oh. oh my God! The slow motion orbs. See every frame, but dashes up and gets the low, and that is gonna be Monday. Second three games straight. Good stuff. Wow. Close game right there, and then. Okay, so after watching Monday play, I think we've kind of nailed down the strategy, man. If you X Magneto, kill Magneto. At he all might not have it like that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we'll see though. Good stuff to Monday though. Always, as we said, a, a good sport and definitely a favorite to potentially just win the whole normal tournament this weekend here at Combo Breaker. Here's my pick.
He can do it. He can do it. Yeah. That's true. Well, that's true. That's People good. have been walking around asking a lot of questions about who we think is going to win, how we think it's going to go. I think we got a lot of opinions out of We'll save those opinions for another day. But for now, <laughs> we're getting our next players up, ready to bat again. Thank you for joining us here for the the, uh, the culmination of the auction tournament, Combo Breaker 2023. I see Ramora sitting down. I know, man. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to see what he does here. Yes, a, he spent eighty dollars on the brothers. That's well spent. Let's yeah, be of real. Course. Smarter Brothers kind of good. Also, I think it's worth noting that we have said uh, whether that we have run them at TNS or he's already won an auction tournament before. Ramor is one of the best random select players on the planet, so it, there's not a lot of bad draws for him when it comes to the extra character. Yeah, absolutely, a variety of characters. We've seen it plenty of times, man. Yep. So whatever the third character, it almost didn't matter to him. He yeah. knew what he was bidding on. He wanted the Sparta Brothers, and he got him. And uh, Tron is just weird body Nova, so it can work out. He can make it work. That's a meat shield right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> he can make it work. Hey, listen, just pull more. Pro Virgil Anchor, and we'll, fi <laughs> we'll figure the rest out. Uh, he's going to face off against Nitro. Nitro bid on Nova Spencer and got Magneto out of the bag. Yes. First of all, let me just say, unreal. I can't believe you pulled such a ridiculous team. Second of all, was bidding versus Mundane and gets his main team. There's a lot to unpack, but let's just say that Nitro is a very fortunate man today. Absolutely, it's fun, it happens, it is what it is, and we move on, but we're gonna see what <laughs> Nitro does with the team. That's the main thing here, you know? I'll say absolutely, but like I said, these two are gonna be the ones battling it out. If for anyone that is curious, the order of the bracket is the order that you drafted your teams in. So uh, you're gonna be playing, uh, and, like the, the bracket was already set once you drafted your character. Yeah, I like that format, man. Cause yeah. like, you don't know what teams are gonna come up there. So it's completely random based on people purchasing their teams. Bandit Boulder. Gustav Fire, let's be dude, real. Dude, no, you, the Boulder you, he, is busted. I'm telling you, <laughs> shout out, dude. Shout out to Kobun, the Boulder is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. See, that's, that's one of the nice things, too, about being able to uh, see a lot of different people play a lot of different characters is kind of have an understanding of uh, of what assists are a little more viable for characters than you would think. I think you're right. I think you're right. You, Ramora wanted to go out to pick the boulders. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's no, still going to pick nah, nah, He you wrong. He's going back to Vanilla. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see it, though. He's going to play Tron Anchor. So uh, this is another common strategy when you have a random character on your team. Put him in the anchor and try and win before you have to think about it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> basically, you're not trying to get the Tron. Yeah, of course. We're playing Dante and Virgil here. Let's see it, though. These are two ridiculously strong teams for an auction tournament, so this is going to be uh, definitely kind of a brawl. But let's see it. Nitro and Romora. Time to get it started. Oh, OK. Immediately, I guess the jam session is going to be starting Tron, though. Okay, kind of cut us off guard with there, but you know, like you were saying earlier, Ramora could play a lot of characters, and he's showing why right here. Yep, capture? No, is okay, so... Yep, with Virgil's sister, you're able to get the capture here, and has can't force another wall bounce, though, so has to go super. This is good stuff for Ramora so far. There we go, DT activated he's here. He's hard my shake, wait, I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 no, dude, if you know, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, with the S. Yeah, able to get the S from the max distance. Good stuff. Gets the TAC as well. You do not have these. No, 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 no. He was no. trying. He was trying there. There was a crouch under M. Almost had it there. Ramora moving fast. That Vortex is looking good so far. EM Disruptor able to beat that completely clean. Has to go for the X. That's unfortunate there with the X Factor as well. One Trust is going to hit. Get the kill on Magneto. Ramora in great position right here. Good block on the cross up. Oh my god, and that barely works. Tries to go for the relaunch there. The drill is a little too early, it looked like. Oh, with the S on the way down. Jam session, but gets the throw. And off the air though, it's an easy conversion here. We talked so much about Remora. Oh, he got Dante. Oh, he got he got Tron. He got Tron. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> you oh. cannot let it happen! Oh man. Goes to the crouching light and Remora is churning. He said, you know what you did, Remora. Oh my god. There's game one. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the jumping heavy, is able to go to the drill, and Virgil Assist actually picks it up as well. We got team synergy right now. Rapid Slash worked very well for Tron. Allows the combo extensions and get to the corner. TAC on the way down, do it again. Here we go. Dante looking for the infinite as well. He doesn't have them. I would stop trying. <laughs> you gotta stop, bro. Trying to back himself off. He's going to go for the team super. Level three is yeah, going to poke through, but who does he hit? It no only has one, one hitbox. He hit no one. 
Yeah, that's the hard thing about using the level three into situations like that, is it only hits once, so if you poke an assist, it's not activated anymore. That's rough right there. Three bars down, but does not matter, because like you were saying earlier, the Tron is the one doing the work on the team. Yep, Blunt Rush. And you have transformation supers. You can ab again this, too. You can you do, could. like, moves and then do the... Oh, my you God. You definitely could. You have two Devil Trigger activations between Virgil and Dante. Block on the low, goes for the high. If you're going against characters that crouch really low, medium is the I way. I love the box dash medium in there, able to notice that crouch. Scaled way too hard, though. Prop Shutter's not going to work at that situation. X-Factor, command grab doesn't go for it. He had him. I thought I thought Jawbreaker was coming out. Looking for the overhead. Frame traps it with the low. Same side. What a throw for Memora, though. X-Factor here, definitely going for the kill. Yeah, set yourself up for it. Should be able to get the finish. The capture comes through, and that is the kill. Two games now for Amora. He's over here having fun with Tron. You see him? I'm telling you, he's a, he's a random select main. Bandit Boulder at the start. Almost gets close enough there. It's hard to convert stuff like, oh, happy birthday! Yo, Go down. Down. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, man, an X Factor there early on. Would have been able to get the kill on both. Or if you go forward and then down there, you can get jabbed. But not going to matter now. Ramora getting the kill on this Nova here with the Tron. Yep, so finish it off. Lunch rush to do it. No, no. it drops! S does connect, but no OTG. Look for the frame traps. Oh, and nothing to follow. Goes for the capture. Does get it. Magneto, nice on the jump loop. Good catch. There we go. TAC again. He wants to get Dante. He doesn't and have them. He doesn't. No. I you're right, Brock. You're right. He definitely doesn't have them. But what he does have is this throw right here. Got him again with Killer B. Should be able to finish. Million dollars. Yep. Keep it simple right there. Magneto out of here. Just got to worry about the Spencer. Keep it simple. Nice. <laughs> yes, lunch rush. Here we go. No goes low. Good block from Nitro. He almost has level three again. Please be careful. Oh, he goes for the low. I think he was thinking it too. He thought about it. He's going to look for it one more time. Oh. Maybe he does have them. I heard someone in the in the crowd immediately say odds are even. I appreciate that, whoever that was. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the, the big question here on that one would be, do you think that zero is odd or even? Because this is going to be a timeout if this infinite goes. He is just going to call it out. Oh, that is going to be three games straight for dang. Ramora to take it. Good stuff. <laughs> Oh my god. Good stuff to Nitro. We appreciate you uh, coming out. Someone give Ramora a hot chip. Uh, listen, he's <laughs> down for it. He was, he was making things work. Good stuff to Ramora for sure. Like we said, he is a threat in these tournaments where it comes to uh, having extra characters come out. He he was doing real Tron things. Yeah, he was definitely doing it. I love the application between uh, Rapid Slash and the Tron. Yep. Assist. Like, you were able to get to the corner carry, get him there, get the kill, and he actually has every uh, extensions off of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really hard to go wrong when you do have those two good of assists also. The Brother Sparta, both of them, They're too strong. Uh, have just pretty ridiculous. You can even get creative. Shouts to Hazy. I mean, you can you can Rising Sun it. You can make it work. Wait, <laughs> you are not wrong Listen, there. if you have Virgil, you have the way, so we can figure that out. But we are going to get on to the next two players here. I do see one of our player sitting down is going to be Jabril. Ooh, okay. So Jabril is going to be sitting down. That's going to be exciting to get to see. I uh, I forget which team he got. He got Magneto. Was he Magneto Phoenix? I don't think it was Phoenix. It was not Phoenix. It might have been something else. Magneto, it was Magneto teams, Morgan. Man. There was a Magneto I Morgan. Was, I think it was, it was him. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll see what they end up getting, though. We're, I'm sure we'll have the graphic at some point. We'll get them pulled up. But yeah, it's going to be Locks versus Jabril. And Locks on the other side, if I remember correctly, Bid on Hulk Hagar, Big and then ripped Sentinel out of the bag like it's his like it's his job. It was meant to be. <laughs> it was meant to be. I mean, now you got your drones for your team, or they could be a rocket punch player. Because that's one of the riskiest things that could happen. Is Hulk Hagar is a is like a mid tier shell, right? But, but with the right scary. assist, it's with the scary. right assist, because drones lets you play a completely different style you get to be way more aggressive gamma charge you can really take control of situations without a long lasting assist like that sometimes it can be hard to kind of represent yourself the way you want to you're relying on the defensive assist of the lariat then yep. that's what the difference is it's on read it's a read based team depending on the assist change yep and uh the problem with that is that if you're playing a character that need uh, that uh is set up to oh we got thor with that i forgot because yeah he has oh, a beam that's right we did say that Okay, so we have a pretty premier. This is a hard draw for Locks, though, because Morgan, having Morgan. the big bodies against Morgan and Magneto, you're going to have to be the, the onus is on you to close the distance here. 
we go. Look for the Mag Blast. And now Jabril's doing a really good job just staying away out of the Gamma range, but not going to matter here. Their drone's taking okay. it for Lux. The key to this team, every single touch uh, oh, every single touch no. has to kill with Hulkagar. It has to. No matter what the resources, no matter where it starts, a character has to die every time. That's the strength of this team. I mean, but the same Jabril just dropped right here, gave it right back to Lux. Okay, this is the biggest problem. Spend level three, maybe? No, it's just going to dash the late push block. He was too far in the DP. All right, we got out. Now the chase Now the chase game begins because you got Astral Vision started up here for Jabril. Oh, but it doesn't yeah. matter. X. But the oh! light almost had it. Jump S would have worked. Gets the throw. It's going to go for Shadow Server just to push him away. I mean, right now that's scary enough dealing with it. We're going to do the DHC out of here. Yes, Hyper Sentinel 4 is going to put a lot of damage on the assist. Thor takes a grip. Luckily, it's from Asgard. He's got yeah, that life to protect him. <laughs> and now, how do you close the distance here? Get close enough for a Lariat, potentially. Patiently, man. Just like that, I love the idea. Call the assist. Found a way to get over. Try to put a button out on the screen. And we're going to go for the X Factor. I actually really like this call here. Get but Thor's health. How do you get out of the corner, though? This slow approach from Locks, I like this. And stalling in the air, another good tactic. But unfortunately, Larry's going to get sniped. Jibril knows that's what you wanted. You wanted to get rid of the mare here because it's hard to deal with him with the mare. Okay, putting the fireballs out. Hulk is out of here. Jibril in great position going into Sentinel. And Sentinel, not a lot of options here. Does have hard drive, but that is so committal and you're going to get punished heavily for oh. it. And that is a deep cross up on a tall, tall boy. Drop there, putting a little bit more fireballs out. Jabril saving the meter. Okay, here we go. Astral Vision started out in the big body sentinel. And again, when it comes to Astral, at this point, normally the game plan is just mitigate the amount of meter the Morgan can build. At this point, I... There's not much you yeah. can do, man. you got to get a hit early. There we go. Hard drive. That's the shot. Doesn't get punished, though, at least. I'm running out on the clock here. I was going to say, even depending on the touch, I'm not sure what you can do after the kill here. Thor can potentially just time it out. That's a tough one. Yeah, I mean, it's, as Sentinel, you got to find a way. And it's hard when you're 10 feet tall and getting hit by fireballs. Oh! Sneaks it in there. Is able to get the command throw. Unfortunately, doesn't get the call or the charge. Didn't get it. Okay, Jabril gets to the other side. I like the flight. Call the assist here. Build some meter for your uh, Morgan coming in. Kind of have like that Escalante type vibe right there with the team, you know? Get the three bars, call your uh, super, and then get Morgan in. Wow, that's a very brave to go for the throw on the punish there too. The movement required. When you you can't you can't grab out of a throw, you have to stop yourself. So sometimes you have to tap uh, tap down. 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 Yes. There's a lot of ways to be able to get that done. And does he have this? No, no, he does not. But here we go. Jabril still up there pressing buttons and getting the air-to-air -air hits here. If you're going to mash coming out of a combo like that too, it needs to be Lariat and S. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell Jabril jumped back right there. Ah, uh, didn't commit with the charge, though. It's going to go for the Shadow Servant. Okay, no. I like that. Wait until the Meteor hit to make it harder to super jump, too. Tries to dash oh, up and go for the command throw. throw. Whether it was normal or command throw, either way, a close call. But five bars now for Jabril. He's going to go for Shadow Servant for damage Gravity and then the squeeze. squeeze. Get the easy kill. Yeah, still building some meter with the assist here. What It took five bars, but we saved the X Factor. And you killed probably the most important piece of the puzzle here. Sentinel solves a lot of the problems this team has. With the light, good air to air. H from Jabril getting the kill here on Hulk. It's going to be up to Hagar here. The mayor. I mean, a three bars. Yeah. Three bars, X Factor. You could definitely do it. Just got to find a clean first hit. If you have clean planks, repulsion's not real. So you can close the distance here, which you can see Locke's doing. Yeah, good, good planks there, good movement. And that's like what you said, it matters most. But right now, Jabril's doing such a great job in the neutral of just navigating it, getting out of the corner when he can. He's kind of being rude, to be honest with he you. He wasted the time. He don't want to fight the mayor. Who wants to fight the mayor? Not us. Oh, oh no, oh. might have messed up. Has to go for the DHC. Easy Lariat, wake up. Oh, so much damage here. Still alive, though. That's up to oh. try and close the distance. Still alive. Oh, nice okay. attempt. He had the right read. He didn't press anything. Got to the other Lariat. side. Oh, that was a level three. And he, oh. I like so that. Close. I like that because Lariat is the obvious play. So that's actually pretty smart. I appreciate that. That's checkmate, man. Good jump, though. Good yes. jump. Yeah, there's no threat of a low in that situation. So good call. All right, maybe change the assist up here, maybe? 
Nah, he just wanted to change the costume on Morgan. I see him. All right, so one more shot here for the big bodies. Can they make it happen? Look at the mag blast here from Jabril. Oh, catching the crouching low here. And using the Morgan assist to build even more meter during it. Goes for the TAC. Definitely wants the infinite here. You're going to build all the meter you can and get the kill on Hulk. That's going to be rough to deal with if you can do it. And this could potentially be the end here. All this bar built up. Has the DAT and the Magneto to make sure the kill comes through. A lot of stuff to handle as watch Jabril. And he doesn't even care. This is just... My man has the execution. He can definitely do this, man. Look at him. He's locked in. He, he's going to get the kill. You're doing an infinite to a Hulk in an auction tournament, and he just no remorse. It don't matter. You got the pro. <laughs> just, you know, Shadow Servant, call it a day. Okay. Now I got the next one in. I like a stand jab there. Got to watch out for the pipe. That's the one that's going to get you. Try to check the low, but unfortunately didn't get much for it. Had the hit again. Wasn't ready. Twice in a row had the hit. Okay, Shockwave and a DAC out into the Astral Vision here. Yes, and now it gets started, and this is rough to deal with. Any steal in your meter on top of it as well. Yeah, bad call to Sentinel. Takes a ton of damage. Is going to go straight into the finishing shower. Shockwave should be enough. Yeah, there it is. Jabril, great position. Okay, a little robot that could. <laughs> Default Sentinel. Can he make it work? Gets the medium too far for the light. I love the M on the way down. And you got to watch those air-to-air -air M's there of Sentinel, but now it don't matter. Yeah, find your air to air, find your kill, and that is going to be Jabril taking three games straight over locks. That's unfortunate, too. That's a tough draw, being the person who gets Hagar uh, and Hulk, and then knowing that your opponent is going to be playing Magneto Morgan. That is pretty rough right there. I mean, you can go either way with the Magneto, run away, and just build meter, yep. kind of like the Escalante style, how you set your Morgan in safely. Or you can just be a kind of just a repulse the whole time. Very true. That also having a Hulk, not Hulk, uh, the Thor assist. Thor assist being a multi-hitting projectile actually breaks armor. So it makes it even more difficult. There were just like so many layers of difficulty. to. Yeah. It's hard being a big body <laughs> player. It's not easy. Yes, definitely, like you said, the, the beam actually helps a lot. And then, like, on top of that, if you have to go to that last character, Thor has so much health. You're gonna, you, ha you, you have a fighting chance. Let's be real here. Absolutely. But it looks like, if production is telling me correctly, before we get into this next match, we are going to toss it over to a quick ad break. We'll be right back with more of the auction tournament here at Combo Break 2023. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back to the next portion of the auction tournament here at Combo Breaker 2023. My name is Proxy, joined here by Brandon. Tough ball flash. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you, sir. Oh, yeah, you know, we're ready for some Marvel here. We got some more coming up for you. Yes, we do. Die Crazy Hard and Xeno is going to be the next match coming up next. So two players that uh, both were very excited for the teams that they got, it was, which was uh, exciting. It was uh, we got zero a, on there. a rarity to get to see someone pop off for Phoenix Wright, but he was so ready. <laughs> Tong said he must have not read the other <laughs> I was going to say, dude. <laughs> but it is going to be, like we said, Die Crazy Hard and Xeno. Gonna be battling it out. There's gonna be the Phoenix right on one side. On the other, it's gonna be Trish, Strange, and Zero. Zeno opting for the uh must be very comfortable with the zero on the back. Yeah, I was gonna say. But Trish can play amazing neutral with hopscotch, whatever she has, you know, the traps, the all of it, man. One of the problems though is playing the runaway character into uh Phoenix Wright, who's just searching for the evidence here, has everything he needs now, is able to get the hit oh. on the assist. Dive kick did connect, but you cannot take a hit here. Yeah, Trish just doesn't get to play at this point. The projectiles are better than yours. Her, his normals are better than yours. Trish is just running for her life to run out turnabout mode. Oh, absolutely. And it's almost there. We're on the last piece of evidence there. One third left. But going to get the hit here. One character for the turnabout mode is very, very good here. And is going to go for the tag to maintain the better assist. Captain America going to be the one to fight. Maybe an X? No, just going to look for the mix. Look for the meaty on the wake up there. Okay, crouching low. And this is a hard matchup, too, just because Strange can't really commit to anything. If you commit to any kind of real projectile here, Cap is going to blow it up immediately. Oh, definitely can. Charging Star is so strong. And sometimes as a Cap player, you got to let him know you will willing to let it rock. And we can kill with anything here because the DHC, we can DHC into the courtroom. 
Absolutely can, and you're gonna do it right now. Maya looking for the unblockable, gets it! Not too far, gotta go for the low. Unfortunately, he's gonna have to switch out now, look for some more evidence. Uh-oh, Dr. Doom's getting hit here. All right, we're gonna rock the spell. Look for the chip, so again, move. Gonna definitely get a mix up here, look for the low. Oh, okay. It's a shield up. anti airs with a light. The paper's kind of crazy. Oh, don't matter now, though. Zero can't read, but he's going to get this kill, though. <laughs> he can't read? He's a robot, <laughs> dog. Bro, he fights, though. There we go. Oh, no. No buster release there. Yeah, missed time on the media. Not going to get anything for it. Gets the air throw assist. Not available. Goes for the lightning and finds the low afterwards. Okay, TAC able to get it here. One more. Listen, I'm a big advocate for if you don't know how to play the characters, TAC, TAC is the way, dude. All right, OTG bust a release. More than enough. He does know how yes, to play it. Yes, us. Okay, we're in there. Okay, with the heavy teleport, not going to work. Dr. Ooh. Doom, unfortunately, gets hit by the buster. Still in this. Right in the photons, X Factor. Oh, H foot dive whiffs and gets away with the hard tag here. Yeah, if you go H foot dive there, you have to go buck tooth. Unfortunately, try, probably was trying to wait for the S, or you can just look for the hard knockdown. And we got the X Factor Buster release as well. Zeno's just going to run it away. Time is a factor here. Yeah, 15 seconds. Good movement there. Trying to go for the foot dive. Unpunished. Nice block on the low. 13 seconds. You're an X Factor. If you get a hit here, you can definitely make it happen. <gasps> this time did. Try to go for the. No. That's the, the commandment. The commandment. The commandment. Thou it shalt not much. back throw. <laughs> As Doom, you do not go for back throw forward. It goes for the option select. Has a hit. Oh. Didn't have time, though. I think even if you get the hit, I don't know if you have time to do it. Not in the Marvel seconds, man. You have to kill. That would have took too long there. But it's the first game. You know, it was still close, even though the time ran out. He got turnaround pretty convincingly. Yes, very like, Very fast. early into that. All right, we're going to take a second here. Go back to the character select screen. Reorder things a little bit, maybe the different assists here. Okay, rocking the bolts. Oh, he, ch he changed the projectile. Zero anchor, I feel like, is still just kind of a weird situation. I mean, he is a threatening anchor. One of the, uh, it's he's kind of awkward to convert throws and can't convert those in certain situations too. Oh, it does not matter. Oh, the happy birthday drop. It's hard to happy birthday with Trish, though, because she uses so many projectiles to go for the juggles, right? You got to keep it simple with just physical hits if you're going to do it. But round harvest here for Zeno. Going to set something up. She's looking for the chip. Hard tag able to get away with it. Oh, a little too far for the low, though. Can't quite connect. Oh, Ooh. on the way back with the shield. Able to get the hit, but not going to matter. But I like what Zeno, I like what Die Crazy Hard's doing. Get him into the corner. It's a throw, though. You know, unfortunately, missed space a little bit. That's going to get the tech roll out. Super going to go right underneath. Zeno too far to try and wash the dishes. Doesn't get the crumple. That jump ass almost got it there. Spell of Ashante. Going to get the hit here. Cap is in. Oh, the ballerina kick just goes for the launcher. And TACs. It doesn't kill. Cap is still in there. Trish going to take a lot of damage. Here comes Maya here. Does connect. Doctor Strange almost on Pixel. Oh. Man, I love when Missile come out and finish some. Okay. It's set up for potential tournament mode once again. Careful how you call your assist. That's the easiest way to get it activated. That or go for a tag and TAC is a very another very easy way to get turnabout activated. High voltage here. Going to look for a little bit of chip. Got to watch out. Just put the peekaboos, put the traps down. Kind of play lame here. There's not much Cap can do from that 45. But now... If we find this hit, we're oh, going to look for the TAC. Potentially gets the throw too far, and that does not OTG. Only the super. It, it can OTG, but it's just a little too far. It's the actual light or heavy one. Look for the dive kick. Okay, good blocks there. Charge the star on the way out. Dude, you're making me nervous. I know. OTG, yes, here we go. Charging star, and that's enough for Trish. Here comes zero. Okay, get your air throw. Unfortunately, isn't able to convert that there. Have to go to the OTG and then the X Factor. Still level three, and that's great. Oh, M Lightning getting on the cross up with the low. Okay, all up to Doom. Again, same one, but can't quite get it. That's just underneath. Couple of mix ups in a row. Nice! Oh. He fades it out, gets the foot dive. Should be able to kill. There you go. Die crazy hard. He tried him with the raw S. He said, not today. Listen, he got a value Doom coming in. Ha, 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 ha.
That is what you need. That is one of the most important things. That's what we like to see. Both these players, honestly and truly, bargain hunters. They both got their teams at a steal of a price. Absolutely did, but here we go. Like, even it's a $50 zero. I, I know, kidding I know. It's just because there was strange behind it. Cowards. I know. Here we go, setting up the Maya. Doom Beam gonna clear it out. Look at the chase down here for zero, from Zeno. Okay. Unfortunately, that shield wasn't positioned too well to help as much as it could have. But still, these push blocks are really helping out. Dashes up and gets the hit. Almost kills Zero off of it. Zero still manages to find the hit. The, the yeah, sword a little too strong. I know. Here we go, man. Oh, but no, the drop at the top. But that's going to cost him possibly. Maybe not. But here we go. Phoenix right out of here. Zeno in great position. Okay. He's going to go for the tag for Strange, actually. He tries to go for the eye. Oh, no. got the throw off the... Super DHC a little too early, not quite gonna work out. Still a tough situation though. Light shield, not gonna happen. Hey, with the air throw, okay. From the top though, but didn't do the OTG. Looking for the shield on the way back off the teleport, not gonna matter. The palm too strong. It tears it with it. <laughs> oh my god, that crazy hard goes for the rejump there. Doesn't actually get it on the double jump. Is gonna kill Strange though. Yes. As long as characters are dying, we're in good positions. Absolutely, Zero coming through with the car wheel, looking for the low, but great blocks from Zeno here. Zero is definitely what makes his team go. Hard tag in the Trish, you want it, he wants to keep the anchor Zero intact. Yeah, Light Light not gonna work. He's heavy shield throws as well, is trying to call out super jumps, but Zeno is just not giving it to him. Yeah, you just place the traps, take the chip. There we go, get the throw, can you super? Yes, waited for the perfect time, high voltage Mike kill. Even if it didn't, he had the DHC, that was good stuff. All down to the Doom once again, but this is kind of what we expect from this shell. Look for the throw there. Yep, absolutely. Play it lame. Stay away from Dr. Doom. Put as much chip as you can. He's playing the long game here. That's what you can see is like you kind of just run away and frustrate Doom until he feels like he needs to do missiles. Get some voltage to get a little bit of damage. Do it again. Yeah, I mean, right here, round harvest. That might trade out though. Okay, X Factor, the save here for. That was a scary one, yeah. Yes, it was close. All right, more round trips. The trap set up, get out of the corner, Raw S almost got punished there. Oh, get the air throw though, okay. Opportunity here, is gonna certainly kill Trish. Zero, has to block a mix. Has X though, you gotta look. A lot of meter too, the X is popped, good blocks. Oh, oh the <laughs> foot dive again for <laughs> Doom's time. He kicks his ponytail off his head. Oh my god, the <laughs> foot dive comes through. Again, and then with a foot dive again. That is... But that's the energy we need. If you got Doom in this auction, you are pressing. You you bid fifty six dollars to press foot dive. There's no other reason. Prox, that's bars. Okay, there we go. It's a surge. Goes for Maya. Gets the hit there. You know, in situations like that, when you roll forward, a lot of players will go for the wake up throw because you can throw through Maya. I mean, that's all we got. Oh, we got raw S, but no, no finish up there. Was we'll threatening the dive kick. Okay, round harvest. Gonna set it up. Spell as well. Does connect, that all goes through. That's a ton of damage here for Zeno. Unfortunately, couldn't get the teleport to follow up, though. Knocked down. Punishes the tag just a little bit, but for the most part, Die Crazy Hard kind of gets away with it. Oh, absolutely no, but the crucial drop there on Strange. Yeah, depend. All right, okay. look for the shield, trying to back off. Oh, and the S on the way down from the anti-air. 38 in press anything. We got these. Got the blocks. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of messed up here. Can we get the evidence? Still one bad piece of evidence, so gets a throw and oh. does get the kill with it actually too. It just couldn't be better. You said you've been killed with evidence. There we go. Going for the flight. I like what Zeno's doing here though, but you might not be able to do that with the evidence stack that uh Di Crazy Heart has. You're the better zoner right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trish has like a particular type of zoning, is very good at stopping characters that feel like they need to approach her. Phoenix Wright is not in that category when he has his evidence. There we go, high voltage, does not hit. That's a great tag there to save your uh, your Phoenix Wright. No meter to threaten the DHC there. We'll look to crouch H here, but good blocks. Gets underneath, Rot S able to connect. Oh, Ooh. almost a great fix. Gotta get the down, the down low DI there. That's more than enough. Zeno in good position here. Phoenix Wright coming in though, is one point away from Yo. being able to make this work. You can X into it, no, unfortunately, can't quite. Command dash out, gotta watch out that Maya's there. 
All it's going to take is one hit. Phoenix right, turnabout mode. This is over. Oh, oh, he's got all he needs. Drops the combo, though. It was a little too far. The light does not connect. Zeno no gets way. a cross-up, potentially going to take it to the game five here. All of the doom. On the way down with the M, okay. Watch out for the foot dive. Yeah, don't be under him. Oh, Any, anything you do. Plus a release. Oh, got the cross up on the lightning. This is more than enough. Just got to finish it and keeps it simple. Zeno said lasers, lightning, oh. everything, <laughs> all the projectiles. Just don't let him move. <laughs> no foot dive for me, bro. Two to two. Okay, game five. Here we go. Taking his time. Yeah. Make some adjustments here on the fly. Oh, going to character select. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a, just needs a little bit of a slowdown here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nerves are real. It's still an auction tournament. There's a lot of money on the line here. Oh, absolutely. Like mm -hmm. we said, top two are getting paid 70 30. So, like you said, there's a lot going on. Dangerous stuff. But we'll see. There we go. We are locked and loaded here for this game five. And look at that, they're nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, bro. So here we go. He's going to start the Trish. Look for the dive kick. Mai gets established. Gets one free search off of that. I like the patience there from Zeno. Oh, had an opportunity for a happy oh. birthday. Unfortunately, had already committed to searching for the evidence. You trying to get the evidence right away. Oh, round harvest here starts. It's a chase down. You're going to get a look with the cross under. Great blocks from Die Crazy Hard. Okay. Oh, turnabout mode's ready. Yeah, we're in that hard situation once again. A couple good pieces of evidence here for to potentially go for the zoning. The launcher's not going to connect after the dive kick. I mean, even if Zeno gets a clean hit, I don't think his team could have killed that character anyways. Yeah, that's definitely one of the uh, one of the things here. Okay. Trying to throw the shield as best you can. Gets the hit with Trish. It, it's not the super that the problem is for Trish. It's actually her normals. They don't have good scaling. The super yeah. does a lot of damage. That oh, barely hit, and it did a lot. <laughs> Got to get a little closer. Sets up. Cap is going to go for the DHC. Good jump out. Okay. If the assist is getting hit here. Oh, oh. no. Cancel it. So close there. Look for the teleport on the way down. Stand light. Continuing to threaten the objection here. Just having the threat of the objection is enough to make people not want to call their assist. So dangerous. Oh, you can't. You just can't, man. Oh, empty jump low. Able to get the connection. Oh, objection. Here we go with the DAC. Got to go for the double. Not going to work. Gets the air throw. OTG in the super potentially, but instead it's just going to try and look for Mix. Could have had the kill there. Oh, standing light here from Zeno. Going to get an easy kill on Cap. Switches back into Trish. It's going to be dangerous. The zoner is definitely one of the better options to be able to potentially run away from this Phoenix right. Flight mode makes a big difference. Just set up your hopscotch, your peekaboo, run away. Rot S connecting here. Going to tag into Doom. Wake up with the throw, potentially no, crouching medium. Ooh. And then light, light. Zeno is mauling right now. It's no combos, only individual hits. Oh, he's letting them know. Here go Photon, so level. Okay. No, high voltage, not enough time. Looking for the chip here. Are you going to DHC out? Tries missiles? to go for the throw again. Back throw is not the answer. One missile is not going to do it. All of the Phoenix right. Forward throw would have caught that, man. Time is a factor here. 22 seconds. Still has X. Turnabout mode is going to pretty much be run out completely here. I press like I like the lane play here. Press the, press the witness. Not going to find anything. Turnabout mode is going to run out. Going to have to go for the full search again if you want to here. But the time. You're playing the perfect character for this right here. Trish, hot scotch. Peekaboo, just run away, flight, dive kick, this is over. Yeah, looking like it might be good movement so far. And yeah, it's going for the searches here, but it's not going to matter. Six seconds left on the clock. He couldn't if you wanted to. Yeah, That's going to be matter. the end. Zeno playing it smart, lames it out, and is going to be able to take it three to two in a close game five. We love to see it. Good stuff from Zeno. Man, it's been pretty exciting so far. Before we get on to the next match, I do want to shout out my friend here, Jason Game Dev. For those of you that enjoy Marvel, especially playing on Parsec, Jason is the guy who actually set up all the tech for TNS to be able to happen. If it wasn't for him, uh, we might not be here today. So let's give a big shout out to Jason for all the work that he's done. 
And he did that for free, too. Now, I think I gave you $5. <laughs> That's all we had in the beginning, but uh, yeah. And now he's uh, he's out here winning tournaments, so good luck. Good luck with your Wolverine Virgil. Have fun. But yeah, give a big round of applause for Jason, everybody. We love Anime Lover. Oh, yes, we That's do. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jason Game Dev. Hey, Jay. listen, if you guys ever see him in the Twitch chats, because he's always there, make sure he you is. always give him some love. He's a very, very nice guy, a hardworking person. But he is going to be up to play now, and uh, he bid with his heart today. He did. He, he did. saw Virgil, and he said, you know, so I know what I want. I like my odds. <laughs> I like my odds. I'm going to buy Virgil. He said, I know what I want, so we'll figure it out from there. He's going to be facing off against PA Sword. And Sword, as we said, another player that is definitely uh, not only uh, fun to get to watch play, but uh, another person worth noting, uh, a a part, a part of Rise of Rookies, which, like we said before, is an amazing place. Uh, it's a Discord that runs a bunch of different tournaments uh, and is focused around uh, helping new players integrate into the scene. If you're newer to the game or if you're an older player and you're just getting back and you're getting your sea legs, uh, Rise of Rookies is a really good place to start. So huge shout outs to Sword and everybody that works with Rise of Rookies because that is also an amazing thing. It's amazing because you know how hard it is to get into Marvel because everybody is killers brutal. nowadays. Game's brutal. Exactly. So that's the right place to do it. For sure, but we'll see how they work it out. Though, unfortunately, there will be uh, there will be no rising and no rookies here. They're gonna have to just handle business themselves. Jason Game Dev, Wolverine, Virgil. I mean, you got, we got part of that Daywalker shell. That is extremely strong yeah. early on in the early days of Marvel. Still can be strong today, obviously. Okay, a little coaching for everyone playing. It's, it's snap, Virgil, please. Just snap, just Virgil. You know, it, it, it ain't it worth it. X-Factor, all seven <laughs> Dragon Ball. That doesn't matter. <laughs> please make sure that Virgil dies. That's going to be the uh, the answer to these problems that you're going to uh, face for sure. <laughs> you get so the snap, scared. you get the kill. I've never heard you like say, hey, it's not worth it because Virgil's gone. And then it's just Logan after that. Yeah, and I mean... Uh, as far as uh, I think most people, when they think of Jason, they do think of Morgan. For sure. But uh, he is uh, more than capable with every single character on his squad. He's a Marvel player. He knows the deal. Yeah. Eventually, you dabble with other characters, but he definitely has other characters in the back. True. That's one thing that's really unique, I feel like, about Marvel players. That's very true. I feel like there's almost no Marvel players that don't play extra characters. Like, mo it's this game is so fun to lab. So I feel like eventually you're going to be like, you know, man, let me see if I can do these Spider-Man combos. We're about, right? to find out. We're about to find out if he labs out some Iron Man, though. Oh, dude. But on the other side... Wesker, Wesker, Ami, uh, Akuma, Akuma, right? Akuma, yes. Yeah, this is yes, a good team. A great team Shots for Sword Legend. here. I mean, you play the Wesker, you got the Tatsu, you can run a Cold Star. I mean, you have lockdown assist. But Wolverine Beam is actually very, very strong here. He's able to get the air throw. Do you have the timing for this? Starting yes. off strong. Oh. I like it here from Jason Game Dev. It's too good with the uh, with Iron Man's Beam. Phantom Dance. Oh, trades out. Got the happy birthday, Jason Game Dev. X Factor on the OTG. We don't Not need even it. has the meter. It. He's confident in the optimization. Very Ooh. nice. Fatal Claw Loops able to get two for one here. Akuma coming through. Uh-oh, we ain't having it. Crouch M, X Factor, Demon coming out. Had to X. He said, I will not let it happen no matter what. He said, he said these hands are strong. I don't want it. That'll be the finish, though. Good stuff from Jason Game Dev. I love the X Factor. Yeah, no demons. No demons. I like that. He said, you're not going to demon me on the stream. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Plus, I mean, like, if you get hit by Demon, that's, like, his one opportunity to get yeah. momentum back into the game. Tried to round start command throw. Uh-oh, almost had the happy birthday again, but here we go. Sword with the crouching low. Missed out, though, unfortunately. Didn't get the crouching medium. Gotta watch out with that Samurai's Edge. Jason's chasing you down here. Good timing on the push box there to avoid the instant overhead stuff, but unfortunately, the tree is still climbed. Wolverine still gets his hit, and that is going to be Wesker going down. Uh -oh. No! Did you block though? Yes, push guard there. Wesker alive. Phantom Dance does connect. Gotta get the DHC though. Okami Shuffle is a really good DHC too because it hits in so many places. There we go, Darkado. That might be enough. And yes, you got the kill on Wolverine. This is huge for Sword here. Cold Star wasn't able to lock him down. Just gonna go for the fireball game. Akuma is a relatively, uh, his fireballs can be annoying, uh, depending oh, on your sure. character. But Iron Man, unfortunately, is a character that doesn't really have to deal with them because he can do Repulsor Blast and just destroy all projectiles around him. It has unbelievably high durability. It's very hard for Akuma to approach in this matchup if you know your Repulsor Space. That yeah. you can see from Jason, one of the most important things, don't call the assist. Yeah, just, absolutely. It just chilled. Oh, okay, I like the Flight F H. 
Oh, but I think he forgot. Low profile from Amy is able to go completely underneath the beam. He, he actually hit quarter circle light at the top right there. All right, and the super going to be able to DHC out and get the... Oh, swords, there we go. Okay. We'll play Virgil with the beam. Absolutely, he's going to leave it in. Judgment or DT or uh, Swords activate. Look for the teleport here, able to catch. Sword, unfortunately, with the medium on the way down, not going to get much done here. Gets the connection for the second time, and now Akuma once again has to do it all. I like that. He off to build more meter there, get the kill, and go into Akuma. But look at that. Going to take a little, little bit of damage here. Ooh, oh, I like the idea, but unfortunately, standing age is a little too strong. Clears everything. He said, not today, Akuma. Judgment Orb, X Factor is running out. Gotta get a, a Tatsu here. Nice wait, gets the hit. All up to this. You Virgil, potentially, Akuma's a character that can potentially look for Chip due to oh, the situation. No. Yo, he gets the sword. demon and Let's the go. kill. Let's go. He said, all right, I'm good, I, I'm good. That's all I wanted to do. Oh my God. And Jason. Hey, Jason, you better laugh at that, man, because you got hit. Now you pop off so the hat fell off. He had a, a headset holding the hat down. It still came off. Incredible. Well, let's be real. <laughs> if I hit someone with a demon on stream, I might do that too. Look for the dive kick. Catch him with the low here, though. Yep, cross up came through. Nice push block there. Mitigating most of the cold star and is able to find the hit. Not going to let this Wesker live for long. That was an amazing late game call from Jason. Okay, there we go. Teleport. Tatsu, no, but does not connect. Ooh, finds another hit, though, and is able to get the conversion this time. Ooh, okay, oh, okay, I see you, I see you. But that might have cost you. Yeah, I mean, Wolverine is a fastballer, so that combo is a little more stable on him, but he also is small, so... He's both, man. Might as well take the kill. All right, look for the dive kick. Cross up with the beam here. Great stuff from Jason. Got to be able to get the kill here, though. Yes, Rapid Slash, OTG. No, but misses the Fatal Claw. Oh, the hits, though. He's able to go for the reversal. <laughs> it may have been oh a little early God. there on the push guard. That's rough. But Akuma can take teams out here very carefully. Hard tagging the Iron Man. Going to take some of the damage. Iron Man's launch is so bad. You saw that stand it's jab. Really Couldn't bad. get it. Okay. No, missed opportunity. Didn't get the Demon Flip. Demon Flip Light Palm is the way that you have to pick that up. Okay, let's go. Iron Avenger level three. All right, Jason, I see you. Two to one. Jason Game Dev getting a little farther ahead. Said, Jason, no matter how much, you, if you win this set, it doesn't matter. He he, said, we got the moral victory. He said it's not a demon, but it's a level three. <laughs> Gonna switch up the order here. Are we gonna go Akuma point? I like that. With Cold Star? Maybe Cold Star to anchor, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, you can uh, you can save your OTG with uh, Spencer in the back as well, so you can offer more damage. This team can kill everything at one touch. All right, look for the Cold Star. Going with the low. Oh, my goodness. Frame traps the Tatsu. Yeah, it was too far for Tatsu there. Unfortunately, really, the only other way to convert that is potentially a second Tatsu, but without X-Factor, it's very difficult, if, if possible, depending on the spacing. But there's the hit on the low. Yeah, it's got to the other side. Remember, you still have the OTG. No, oh, you got to kill. That's rough. Looking for the chip out here. Hard tag. Yes, waiting for was it. Was so but ready. No. Oh, no, was so ready. And then Akuma fell out. Going to lose Ami possibly? Yes, it does. Going to get a punish there as well with the Dark Auto. Oh. <laughs> Look at the chase down. Just smack Iron Man in the mouth. Does get the hit with the super, not going to DHC, doesn't want to risk it. Oh, on the way down, TAC, able to connect here. Oh, yes, Helmbreaker on the way down. You have more than enough meter. Got to spend, get Wesker out of here. Let's wait on the DHC. Fatal Claw should be just enough. Yeah. Good call, good call there. Keep Wolverine in, Akuma on the way in. Oh. Look at the stare down, going with the light for Sword and the X. Double teleport gets the cross up. Great air to air there. Got a chance here. Oh, you had a chance. Nowhere, man. That Helmbreaker too strong. Dude, he went for launcher too because he was trying to go for the trade with the Helmbreaker. Knew what he wanted, but it doesn't quite work out. Jason game dev. Gonna take that one down three to one. But listen, sword one in our hearts. Yeah, I got a demon off, man. Jason knows that. <laughs> he knows.
Oh my god. But good stuff to both of them. Absolutely. Jason man. gonna be moving on. As we said before, this is single elimination. So it's gonna be uh fast and furious characters and players getting deleted, and I think we're gonna have potentially from these two walking up, oh. maybe my most anticipated match of this. This is it this right is here, bro. But before we get into that, we are gonna throw it over to a quick ad, and then we're going to have a match that I'm not going to tell you about yet. But we'll be right back <laughs> with Combo Breaker 2023 in the auction tournament in just a minute. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker merch legacy collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. Welcome back for a little bit more of the auction tournament here at Combo Breaker 2023. My name is Proxy, joined by Southpaw Flash, and we are going to continue to work our way through this bracket, and I promised you a good one. This is a good one. I promised you a good one. And we're going to have it. First of all, <laughs> from the Midwest, who is uh, kind of, we'll call him the hometown here for today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's other players in this, but we'll figure it out. For now, though, it is going to be these two. It's going to be... Big Monix. He paid a lot. He paid big money. Big money, big Monix. Absolutely. The Spider-Man, uh, he's uh, paid for Spider-Man Doom and is uh, one of the pro most prolific Spider-Man players himself. Definitely Amazing. one of definitely one of the best. I would say one of the best all-timers for sure. Honestly, I truly agree. with agree. the character. Agree. Facing off, though, against, uh, if you haven't seen him before, uh, you're going to get used to seeing him. Liberal Terminator. That's LT. Put out a That's pretty LT. penny here for some Nova. Oh, yeah. He definitely paid the price as well. He's going to end up playing the Strange as the anchor, and he's going to put Wesker on point on the other side. It's going to be Spider-Man with the Ryu second. He's, oh, man. LT got such a good team, even with Wesker. You can just play Wesker's the meat shield and then play one of his normal teams he plays all the time. You can also check people with uh, potential unblockables. Nova Assist is an overhead if you're using the right assist, but he's going to go straight glasses off. Oh, yeah. Phantom Dance early off. Get the speed boost here. Try to set something up, but oh, my goodness. What a throw from Lomonix. This is one of the hardest things, though, is that it's difficult to play against players whose point character is the character they were bidding for, especially when it's Spider-Man, who's so difficult to catch. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to build some meter here, man. He's offline. These are looking crispy right here. Spider-Sting, let's go. Crawler Soul. Those are so hard after, like, the second one, by the I, way. That, that <laughs> like, takes crazy execution. That just shows you that he's a master of okay. his craft with his character. He's got a good DC, too. Yo, Searchlight, let's go. Look for the low. Oh, it's an overhead. Great blocks from LT. Okay, but this is what Terminator bid it for. We got the Nova coming up. He's definitely one of the best active Nova players. Okay, start, stops it early there. Oh, okay, it's going to connect. Yeah, and he goes straight diagonal because you want to get the hit as low as possible to the ground to make sure you can link a jab or a launch or something, anything afterwards. Oh, looking for the TAC reset. Not having it here from Lil Monix. Back to the neutral. I look at the patience right there, waiting on the pulse. Three tackle does get the hit, not a kill though. He's looking for the chip. Super comes through. Is going to get the hit with it, actually. Easy DHC out. Oh no, X Factor going for this. the kill. That's even better. And the crowd's getting into it. See you later. Oh yeah, we will see Nova later. That's for sure. He's about to be gone. Finished him off. All up the strange. One incoming to block. Oh, the cross under. Ooh, oh, good timing. Yeah, you cannot let him get away with the spider sting. Medion incoming. Yeah, Ryu, normal guy. Got some normal hands. He's out of here, man. Yeah, I mean, Ryu is just here to have a lot of health and kill some of this X-Factor time. Crowd not liking what they're seeing. This is one of the hometown heroes. That's Lil Monix. Not going to have time to block. Going to take a decent amount of damage off of that. Oh, that, that looked like a push guard right there, and the H came out. Oh, but he's going to get chipped, potentially. He had already jumped, so he couldn't level three. Oh, if he goes just normal dash there, maybe he can cancel level three and there's the potential to get out, but you can see the crowd not liking it. <laughs> he knows. He's the heel of Marvel. LT knows this. <laughs> Monix, I'm happy to be here. They're out here booing this man. <laughs> but like we said, though, getting rid of Spider-Man is going to be the most important thing. If you hit him, X-Factor, whatever it takes, got to get rid of him. Monix might want to consider a snap, snap also. Yes, I agree. Go for the strange, man. Get rid of the bolts assist. Make this a little bit easier on yourself. Oh, but across underneath, Danny Heavy almost gets there. Oh, bolts connection, stand jab. 
great adjustment here from LT. Yes, no, two not. button tech. It ended up being a nice fix, but that was the ugliest combo I've ever seen. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that, man, but it gets the kill, and that's what matters most here. All right, Hadouken oh, caught them both. I like that's that. Going for the assist snipe. Scare them off of bolts. Look at a chase down with the crouch low here from Monix. Midi Tatsu looking for something there. Ooh, ooh. Yo, he's trying. Look at the stare down there. He said, you know you got to jump into it. That's one of those things that's uh, a little weird about this matchup is that Nova's used to being able to just jab everything. Uh, Light Tatsu is actually pretty good for being able to go through stuff like that. He messes up. That's the hit. There we go, Super. Cash out here, whatever it takes. No punish either. Oh, Ooh, no, no. That was like a this. huge missed opportunity. Yep. Easy super here. Get the kill. Okay. Dr. Doom. Ayamakamato, really one of the deciding factors in this matchup here. Very hard to approach. Gets the sword. Gets the X Factor. That is going to be a kill. And that's going to be Terminator taking another one down. The crowd not happy. Definitely not happy, man. They know the deal. They want Monix to win here. LT, he's not even wearing headphones. He wants it. He wants it to get leveled up, man. He wants to listen he's to it. He's fueling the fire, bro. He's down. Mm -hmm. Glasses off right away. Gets that last hit cross up too. Spider Man very small, so can't block every single hit every single time. The throw here. No, no Samurai's Edge, so can't get the OTG. Tatsu clears things out a little bit. Gets the delay and almost gets the conversion off the beam. That's a tough one. There we go on the Fallen S here. Okay. Looking for the low, but not going to happen, but couldn't finish off the combo. Dropped for the second time, still just looking for the web throw. Tries to find the hit and does get it this time. See you later. I, I think it was like what you said earlier, man. You go to, you take a lot of damage here, and then you go for the snap, maybe. Yep, yeah, I is. think it's a good call. Oh, the cross under almost had it there. Tatsu cleans up, but the stand jabs can't get it. Goes for the super twice in a row. Doesn't have any meter to That's DHE. That is a punish. Are we Xing? No way, we, right? we have to X. Oh no! What? Oh, we going install. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't worth it. What? Ooh. Oh my God! Never mind. Ryu, the best vortex. Stand jab. Yes, anti air. Got the kill on Wesker here. Jump M. Okay, almost had that on the meaty. Dolphin kick oh. into beam. Smart stuff. He's gonna X with Ryu. We're spending it with Ryu. Oh no, that's gonna cost right there. That's rough. Looking for the punish. Almost got chicken guard there. Good amount of damage. Uh, yeah, it's very smart. It's the the hits are not as long as the animation. Xing Ryu though. Dang, they really didn't give Ryu anything. <laughs> Look for the pulse. Oh, inside. Oh, he blocked that. Tricky, tricky. Tried to push guard a little too late there and got in trouble for it. Air to air age here from LT. Was looking for the zip. Does go for the swing this time. Not going to be able to get away. Nice the shell is still intact here for Terminator. Tries to go for the low. Nice push block. What a oh. punish! Yo, counter hit M on the air. Good stuff from Monix here. Has a chance. No meter, so you get the meaty. Oh yes. my god, checks the legs though. Here we go. Monix still in this. Finish your food. And that is going to be two to one now. Lil Monix not out of it yet. We still in it. We still in it for the hometown hero, man. Monix can make it happen. Crowd's hype for Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. There is no let's go Monix. I heard let's go Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. They know what they're here for. Ooh, oh, frame, frame trap? trap? Yeah, no. okay. I like that. X Factor easy. Yo, Smart. LT knows the deal. The Spider Man Listen, has to go. The problem's still alive, though. Ryu's right there. <laughs> Ryu been doing the work, man. Watch out for the stand jabs. Actually. Oh, my God. But the legs immediately get blessed. You mean broke? <laughs> oh, okay. It's KC block. Look at the overhead. Great blocks from LT and an even better command grab. All up to the doom. How do you make this work? Gonna go for the super to clear the screen a little bit and potentially catch Nova. The Liberal Terminator gonna play as risk adverse as possible, and that is the right way to do it. Okay, gets another side. Set the javelin. It's an overhead for LT here. No X Factor. Possibly look for the uh, TAC. Drop. X. Yo, what a throw! throw! Okay, he's in this. Monix, all of a sudden, there's a lot of hope. That was godlike. 
You got the touch here on X Factor. Wesker incoming. You can yes. definitely catch it. They both have to hold the specs too. They both have nothing. Missiles just connect and a throw again from Little Monty. Very late dash finds it somehow. Godlike. One more. One more. One more. It can't. He can't get thrown a third time. Oh, this block. Oh, look at the dive here. No X for either player now. You gotta be very careful how you spend it. They both have good reversal level threes. He wanted the level. We're missing movement. He caught him. He caught him. A little nervous. No X factor, so no cancel there. Looking on the low and the blocks. Oh! This. Can he, he just be dead? Oh, little Monix. He fixes it somehow. He can do the level three. Just end the combo. Absolutely. Yo, from a doctor to a doctor, level three. Let's go, little Monix. Forcing a game five here. Wow. All of a sudden, Terminator's hundred dollars looking a little risky. Looking a little risky. Uh, no, I mean it's only five dollars off. It's been risky. Oh, oh, gets the hit. No, doesn't get the second hit of Spider Sting though. Maybe it wasn't uh, confident it was gonna combo. And a drop again here with the Wesker though. Oh, we'll look for the assist hit. Oh, Ace on the way down. Okay, the trade out. Look at how he's positioning himself when he hears bolts right over it every single as time. As you should. As you should. He knows. You just can't get caught in them. Then you give him the mix if you're low. Oh, missed out. Oh, look for the spidey nice swing. Good block. Look at the double overhead. Look at the trade out, man. This is a bar fight right now. They're swinging. Oh, hit strange a little bit. I like that back off though. Eyes on the prize. Wesker's the one you want. Phantom dance. Okay, here we go. Human rocket does connect here. Got bolts. Happy birthday. Just got the Spider-Man now. Tags the team back into the order he wants. X Factor, oh. nice flight! Oh! Going for the Hadoken. Killing okay, X Factor, that's yes. so smart. X Factor time. It's X Factor 1. Look, look at the chase down there. Okay, good blocks. Back to the other side. Why? Bad blocks. Oh my god, the shenanigans, they never end. They never do, especially with the Nova, but the OTG not connecting here. Giving Monix another chance. Boy, why am I so scared of the 3U? Misses the TK! DC! You have to do it to keep it safe. Photons here, does connect. No X here. Oh! Okay, not gonna work. But that he hits oh. him! Nova's down. This is the most crucial part of the team. I mean, he does play strange. Don't get it twisted, but yes. this is the most important thing to kill. Okay, off for the Ryu here. Try to build some he meter. He's getting his Ryu. It's disgusting. Almost got with the low. Look at the chase down. Samurai's edge. He can throw Shockless. that. Doesn't get the throw though. Donkey Still okay. Kick. Goes for the other side. Almost not gonna work. Away. Look at the Air jump there. Oh. Tatsu. Gotta watch out for the overhead. Nice block. Don't call that assist. Gotta be careful. He's looking for the assist snipe. Shock him through. Not gonna work. Stand jab. Or DP F. that. Give me some Zen pool stuff. Ooh, Checks the feed. Gets go. the hit. It's all of the strange. My man scuffed the Nikes. Took him out. Wesker's out of here. Oh my god. Not with Ryu. Anyone but Ryu. Oh, oh my god. Not a, not no a, way. Does he fix no it? Way. That's gonna be punished. Okay, chip here. Look at the tick. You're crazy. Oh! <laughs> Monix! The tech chase stand eights. Monix! OCV, three down? Okay, listen. I changed my mind. We're killing Ryu next set. <laughs> Ryu, Ryu kind of oh strong. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Post it up on him, too? I thought he was going to hit him with the Nemo handshake, bro. Oh, <laughs> dude. And then the fist bump to follow. Good sports from everyone. Good stuff. Monix. That was it Making right it there. exciting. Is going to get it done. Terminator. We going to be knocked out of this single elimination auction bracket. It'd single be, elimination. It'd, one it'd life. be like that sometimes. Yeah, one chance, one shot. <laughs> Dude, I ain't gonna say anymore. <laughs> single elimination Marvel is one of the scariest things that can happen because this is one of those games where, don't get it twisted, the better player generally wins, but some stuff can happen. Oh. <laughs> things can occur. Top Ryu, ball. All, all I know is Monix Ryu kind of good. Yeah, definitely was looking really, really solid, but coming off the stage, gonna get themselves a set up for the Ooh, next one. It is gonna be EMP one. Obama. Is gonna be coming up, facing off against Dual Kevin. Dual I Kevin. One of the biggest spenders in this tournament just bought his main team. And he's a dual wallet, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dude, he comes out with Deadpool Hawkeye as his yes. two guaranteed. As his two guaranteed. That is unreal. And that's rough, man. But, you know, that's like the only thing that the difference is you don't have the jam session. True. That's, that that's, changes the plan. A little bit. A little bit. But obviously he knows long enough. He's been playing the characters for 10 years. He knows the deal. He can make yeah. it work. Uh, for sure. I mean, that is one of the greatest strengths of his team is that he has two characters that are exceptional at normal and grounded heights. Uh, so jam session is like 
the crux to being able to stop them from being able to camp at the 45, potentially just fly away. It really, really solves a lot of his team's problems. And on incoming, man. Incoming is Dude, so, it's so strong. Stupid. You're eating 50-50s with Deadpool, quick work, man. That That's what makes that team so cheap. Commentators refer to that as the dual Kevin for a reason. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's just unbelievably strong. Oh, He's man. hit me with that plenty of times. But facing off against EMP Obama. EMP Obama, obviously one of the people that runs the, the UMBC3 Discord and uh, is a, a part of making a lot of these matches happen, which is very, very cool. It definitely has helped uh, reinvigorate Marvel and keep that stuff alive as we have continued through the Parsec era and gone from Parsec era back to the offline, dude. How many people we got in here just hanging out for Marvel? The auction's <laughs> over. They're just, they're just ready to watch the first one. <laughs> trying to see some hands. You know trying the deal is Marvel single, 3. Trying to see the single elimination stuff. Absolutely, but here we go. And that's the one he got dealt was the Arthur. Dante Zero, still a very strong show. A horizontal assist is a difference maker when you have a team comp like this. I know the deal, but that's the thing though. We have a Lariat for Dual Kevin. That's a very strong def defensive tool here. Whew. We got daggers. We want daggers. It's got to be daggers. Yeah, it's it's be the daggers. only. It's daggers or flame bottle, and I have to assume that's daggers. Here. Said, so I'm gonna do bottle toss instead. <laughs> oh my god. We'll see though. I mean, Dual Kevin, obviously one of the most experienced players in the game. Not even just with his characters or in matchups, just in general. I mean, has been at the top of the mountain for pretty much the life of the game. He has always been considered one of the top players. Oh, absolutely. And continues to be. Oh, Lariat clears. Okay, doesn't get the OTG, though. Yeah, a little bit of a body block from Lariat there. Didn't have the assist, so wouldn't have been able to convert it anyways. But dealing with Jam Session in this situation is going to be tough. But instead, we're just going to get the launch of the Shoryu off of that, yeah. uh, off the Tatsu. Honestly, Joe Kevin's just like, you know, I don't even need the Jam Session. The mayor is good enough. Look, you could do quick work. Okay. <laughs> he got it. Hold he on. knows. He knows. All right, go install here. Yes. Careful for the tag. Called the Lariat. Gets oh. the launcher off of it. Great spacing again. Every hit so far has been Lariat launcher. And that defensive tool coming through for Dual Kevin here. Yeah, you have to hard tag there, but unfortunately does get clipped by the Lariat here. And Dual Kevin's off to the races. Maybe Hagar was the, the most important piece of this puzzle the whole time because truly every single hit has been off of Lariat. Yeah. Oh, off a of teleport. Great throw from Kevin here. Yep, has the meter. Easy kill on Dante. And this match, it doesn't look over, but it's it, completely over because Arthur's on a clock. He's, yeah, he's on the install here. I think like one third left. Yep, half the time left. You would have to kill the X whole Factor team level in three. that time. Yeah, Not really much to do here. You have to do the X Factor level three here, but you probably could have waited there. I should have saved it for the armor yeah, pop, yeah, because yeah. now, unfortunately, Arthur will go down. Yep, and quick work for the kill. Kevin knows he got it right there. For anyone that does not know, when Arthur does the install, when the timer gets to zero, he inflicts hard knockdown on himself. So, <laughs> unfortunately, most characters can just walk up and OTG it. That's kind of rough, Proxy. There we go. Look for the guns on the way down. Okay, pineapple surprise. We got to get the chase down with zero, man. If Obama can get zero started, this can be it. Can be his game. Yeah, we call it a zero game for a reason, but unfortunately, we're having another Deadpool game. Gets that <laughs> hit, should be able to kill a robot with a human face. Not long for this world. All right, side switch here, puts a Lariat out. Okay, Pineapple Surprise. Oh, Dude, look at the frame that, trap. That is so sick. He's baiting the throw mm -hmm. and any push blocks. That is one of the highest level things you can see from a Deadpool. Oh, and off the throw here. Oh, Kevin, man. Making it happen. Got a DAC out. That wow, DAC is kind of Let's go. Okay. That looks hella practiced. <laughs> oh, Anchor Dante, what have you got for this here? Closing the distance on Deadpool is already oh, hard enough. No. Add in, factor. Add in dual Kevin and Hagar to the mix. I just got another chance here. Oh, the Lariat again on the way down. Oh. Ninja tools, but no, we got to drop. X Factor finally runs out. How do you find this touch here? He's going to go for the million dollars. Does get the hit on the assist. No, doesn't even get the hit on the assist. Looked like he had a chance. Good block. Weasel shot. Hysterics trying to catch something here. Again, grapple does connect. Fantastic from Obama. Launch. Yep, yep. Air raid. Keep it simple. Yeah, air raid is also the fastest way to kill an X Factor. Yep, as you should. Stay away from this character. You got eight frames of a light, and he has a lariat. This is kind of rough. 
Um, for, I feel like you still have to go in, though, because now x Factor's out. You're in a tough situation. Oh, Stan M is going to be your best anti-air tool here, especially with him jumping, and you can catch the pre uh, the jump landing frames with uh, Stinger. If he safely gets into Hawkeye, how is Dante ever going to approach Hawkeye with, with Lariat? <laughs> like, you don't. That's yeah, game like over. <laughs> you got to take the ha uh, Hagar out of here. Okay, looking for Vortex, looking for full invincibility here. Stand in, man. That's definitely your call. So, there it is. Yeah, that is. You Chris, have to prove to him. If you think he's going to approach, Crystal's also very good. You saw the startup over there. A little bit from the further range there. You can, if you catch it in the anti-air, you can combo off of it fully. I like that. Stand M, because you can bold block it just in case if you whiff a little early. Oh, Landon maybe had an opportunity, but now at this point, how this do you really there. approach? He's going to take the shot with the gimbal and set it up for Chip now. There's not much you can do here, especially with the time. Yeah. yeah, and he's an archer, bro. You ain't catching him. I feel like he should have pressed the advantage more when he got the kill. When he got the kill and got the character coming in, I know you don't want to over-aggress against Hagar because of Lariat, but you have to. You If you never shoot, you, you can't make it. You have to go for it. He said you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. There you go. Thank you very much, Michael yeah. Scott, yep. in the building. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude. But yeah, no, you, you got to press your... If you're yeah. getting advantages, especially against a player like Duel Kevin, you got to push him. Kevin was perfectly okay playing neutral that yeah, whole time. He's like, I got a Larry like, here, man. Pipe, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Again, okay. Ninja Tools. Took the way. Gets the hit. Big opportunity here. EMP Obama to That's run this one pretty far back. Definitely huge here, man. If you can get Soken move started, you know, get the kill, you'll be on your way. There it is, looking good. Okay, right side, 100%. Let's go. Bust the release. No, we cross up there with the lightning on the way down. I. You snap? No, you kill. I'm scared. The Larry <laughs> has given him more problems than you, like, you know. Oh, okay, but no, no, Hawkeye with X Factor. Ooh. Oh, Tech and checks the legs. Great stuff. Now it's incorrect. Now you're right. Yeah, yeah you're I right. I like formally right. apologize. Uh, it's okay. No, he goes poison tip here. Goes for the status ailment. Just try to like let let zero be poisoned a little bit and just try to chip him out. We're saving the meter. All right, goes install Arthur coming through. Are there some of the highest durability projectiles in the game? Between those and the lance, they are incredibly hard to deal with. And you gotta watch out in, in the install. His uh, DP becomes fully invincible. So you gotta watch that on wake up options. You can hit confirm those into super as well, but unfortunately, here it comes. Armor's gonna pop. Oh yeah, here it is. Can you get the OTG in time? Yes, you can. Okay, triple arrow. Just gonna take whatever chip you can. Get your armor back on. And gets the tag. Okay, Dante in next. And I like that Duel Kevin wasn't stressed about going for the punish. He's confident in playing this neutral, not too worried about everything that's going oh, on. Oh, the Lariat able to catch there. We got eight frames, crouching light. Weasel shot trying to work his way in. Oh, and shoots up Arthur. Gimlet actually gets a hit as well. Dante taking a decent amount of damage off of this. Yeah, you can't Gimlet all the time because you can DT on the Gimlet and it'll go right through and you can waste a meter. Wow, Exploding Arrow almost got the punish. Unfortunately, Hawkeye comes down facing the wrong direction. No that should be a convert. No way. Jam session out strong there from Obama. Okay, you got it. Buster release. Yes. Still has X Factor two meters. Going to keep it mad. Simple here. DHC out. Get Dante in. No, oh. please no. Oh, no. Not like this. Don't let it happen. Just hysterics, force X Factor. 25 seconds. Play it slow, play it safe, please. Okay. Don't let it happen to you. There we go. He's okay. not letting it happen. He's not letting it Listen, happen. Man. He took his shot. I know that it's zero jam session and there's no way he's going to hit him, but if there's a pipe, there's a way. <laughs> Always, man. So we oh. don't need a pipe. Larry does connect. Okay, pineapple surprise out of the neutral. Yeah, missed time to launch. That's an unfortunate drop. So working out though, gets the punish. Yeah, you were in free fall after those guns. That was unfortunate. I don't think he meant to go for the second jump. Maybe an execution error. Yeah, it happens sometimes. It's so fast. Marvel's a quick game, but here we go. So again, move lightning loops. You know you're gonna see him here. My man is, my man is 100% on the right side. He's looking good. Okay, get blocked there. Ooh, oh, crowd my jam. God, and the fix. We like that. Wow. Okay, going for the snap again. No, he whiffs out. I also That's think rough. that I think this might be the highest dollar value total face off between the two. This is 130 versus 150 ah. and how much they paid for their teams. They spent it all. The weekend's over. The weekend's <laughs> over. That was a good time. <laughs> so I'm having water and sleep for dinner every night now, bro. I got to win this. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I like the zoning, slow it down. Oh yeah. DK when he lands can go for the DHC to potentially get him in or go for the raw tag. I would not recommend a raw tag. Oh no, Obama's fishing for it. He's, He's looking for it. Yes, absolutely. Dual Kevin knew he couldn't do it. He's confident in the defense though. He's not gonna spend much to get oh. out of there. Pushes the medium, not gonna work. The MP Obama gets the hit. No, that's crucial drop right there. It's gonna cost. Gimlet does connect. X Factor, another one. Zero is out of here. My favorite combo, shoot him twice. Went for the air throw, not gonna work. X Factor oh. into the DP. Oh, the cross-up ice arrow is able to get a connection here. And the dead Arthur as well. Up to Dante. Oh, he gets out. But how do you get back in? That's the problem. You you waste X-Factor, first of all. Both characters, now we're back to even. Also, just save your DTs for Gimlets. But you know Joe Kevin won't waste them like that. Yeah, he's only going to use them in the air in situations like that. I like how random he is with the grappling hook too, like just sprinkling it in. It makes it oh, really unpredictable. Connection. There we go. Now you're going to have to force a DT. Yep. Get some life back. You do have Vortex fully invincible, but you got to pick where you use it. Crowd very heavily. Obviously, Duel Kevin. There it is. One of the Midwest favorites. Had an opportunity. Chance. Gets the hit confirm and gets the kill. Three and games to one. And that's what Duel Kevin was waiting for. Yes. He was waiting for it. Close stuff, though. A good match. And again, one of the highest dollar value dollar value face-off that we had all day in this auction tournament between the two. That was the most money, most neutral I've seen, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, our last one that is going to be coming up is also another one of those ones that had a lot of money involved. We'll tell you a little bit of the lore oh, yeah, on that yeah, one yeah, when we get to it. But it is going to be... <sighs> dude. We haven't seen them for some time. It's been a long time, and the return has been wonderful because obviously he's been doing this thing in a lot of different games, had a, a great success in Dragon Ball, is continuing to have great success in Guilty Gear Strive, and a, had a lot of success, uh, I mean, in... Uh, he's probably one of the most multi-talented uh, players that we've had. Blaze Blue is very good. Games, yes. uh, has had very high placements in Smash before, which so is pretty cool to you, see. You can catch hands in all games, basically, what you're saying. Apology Man. Yes. Coming up. Uh, was in a bidding war with Ray Ray. That was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Over Modoc Sentinel. He said, you want Sentinel? Not oh happening. Not in this God, economy. Dude. So he actually did come away with the Modoc Sentinel with his extra character. Joey D on the other side. The final bit what? of the auction was Doom Dante. Man, he should and Joey said, you know, I got it like that. We'll figure it out. And Joey should put the pit Vipers on while he plays. Oh, my God. He should do it. I don't know. You can't see anything in those, man. I'm not playing. <laughs> so just for me. He looked good. He looked good. But well, here we yeah. We'll like see how we'll see how these two work it out. Though. Like we said, his apology man and Joey D coming up between the two. Modoc Sentinel versus Doom Dante with an extra random a random added character to follow up. Gotta love it. And that's why we love these auction blocks, man. These are ridiculous. It's so much fun to watch. It is, and uh, it's it's like we said, uh, this is another one of the highest dollar value invested uh, teams at the end. When it starts getting to the last couple teams and people want to get involved, they get desperate. FOMO's real. FOMO's, FOMO's real. real, man. There's 16 spots, man. Everyone can't play, and that's the deal. But here we go, man. The MODOK. The oh, Spencer. he got Shuma. I forgot he got Shuma. That's right. <laughs> Oh my god. Shuma Ray is very strong with Dante. Okay. It's actually very cheap. But I'm going to be honest with you. Be honest with me. I've never seen Vanith play any of these characters. Me either, man. Literally I'm a single time <laughs> ever. So this is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> oh man. We're going to rock Doom Point. I mean, Doom Point with two unbelievably strong, like arguably top 10 assists. Uh, to be able to support him, it's the right call. This is this is really hard to deal with. Doom, Doom has crazy damage output, and especially you add Dante with the two-button tech, which can shred everything in the game. There we go. Just gonna play some zoning from the 45. Close the distance after the Shuma. Nice up back to be able to get out of the pressure here. Those hard kicks are gonna keep coming. That's an option Ooh. select throw, Modoc's and there's dead. the clean hit. He dead. No matter what. Modoc, unfortunately, not long for this world. Two button tech, man. The Team Hyper Super is so strong. It's, you know, in the next touch, you can go X Factor, boom, cool, get the kill, build the meter. Next touch after that, you could do it again and then game over. Oh, never mind. The Spencer's gonna kill. Oh, drops it though. Mistimed the S. Look at the dash cancel so fast. Look at the S as well. Grappled in. Good timing on the assist call. The jam session actually answers it completely. Oh. Nice defense into the Team Super. Cross up comes through, gets the hit on Dante. Doom is safe. Yeah, but you gotta watch out for those Dante calls. They will cost you here. Now you gotta use the Shuma ones, which 
Ooh. Ooh. Was very ready for that one there. Goes for the jab, though. Unfortunately, it was scaled a little too hard for the jab to work out. Look at the stare down. He's waiting for it. He's going after the assist, though. That's just Shuma. Nice block on the overhead. The entire team is bleeding. Apology Man's two-button tech is really kind of carrying no things right now. Had time for the jump. He has no arm. He's going to get a look here. Oh, no. M on the way down from Apology Man. Gets the kill. Yup, checks the legs. Very nice. Apology Man. Okay, the Spencer Prodigy. Bro, he knows. Meaty. Okay, that's on the way down. Good blocks all around. It's the low. Backs himself out of the pressure. Looking for the tremble. Just trying to chase him down. Jump H. Okay, almost gets blown up there. Didn't even have to pop his X either. That's big. Save Sentinel with the transition out into defense. Gets the hit. Misses out, though. No TG here. Giving Joey another chance. It's just a lot of work from Shuma. We don't even know if he actually has the combos yet. Oh my god, a little, you know, uh, yeah. Hey, it's a handshake, bro. Chop on the like, way out. Good match, man. I'll let you know. Here we go. Apology Man looking good. Look for the butter gun. Sets up the beams. Photon's a good look here, but you gotta watch out for the Doritos. Dude, the Dorito is so good at being able to nullify a lot of the pressure that Doom is gonna go for. A little shimmy out though with the back dash. Oh, they wanna overcommit. What a tech there. Okay, sets up the jam session. Trying to inch him way in, man. The Dorito's getting huge. We got we got some intelligence. Ooh, but the balloon bomb. Nice. Shuma Laser actually does save it once again. Gets the anti-air jab. Apology man has a moda. It's too strong, man. Anti-air jab there. Able to get the kill here on Doom. Oh, I Stand don't know age. what <gasps> that was, but Balloon Bomb still saves the day. Stand age reverb shock. And then when you have fireworks, it does OTG. It was looking good there. All right, Bionic Arm does connect here. OTG, no, does not get it. Stan, M, startup. All right, falling down H, looking for something here. You got to set up. You can set up your weasel shot frame traps there with the assist call called teleport. Oh, nice block. Gets the jab afterwards as well. Apology Man finding these hits one after the other. Gets Ooh, the chop okay. again. Hellbreaker got a lot of frames. Let's be real here. Oh, okay. Give us something started. Trying to catch them. Apology Man doesn't really have to do anything, overextend himself too hard here. Just Shuma at this point. Grapple, zip, zip. No, doesn't go for the double zip. Only looks for the one. That's going to be blocked. Okay, looking for the chase down here. Just trying to catch him. Catches with the low. Okay, let's see what Joey got here. He ha I, That was the right route. Yeah, he he has the combo. <laughs> he was on the way. He was on the way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Yeah, wide body Modok. Unfortunately, Tremble is very hard to block when you're out in the corner. Low, pro low profile, the blaster. Okay, got to get something. X Factor Force here. Yes, there it is. That's a win for Apology Man. And now that you force it, you just go to the top <laughs> oh and you don't have to God. deal with it. He knows, man. <laughs> He's not even going to go for the laser to try to answer. He's going to go for <laughs> Super to stay in the air even longer. <laughs> oh, and then he just no. adds on the way down. You love to see it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Joey back in. Medion incoming. Got to watch it. Low. Oh, that was a frame trap. Yes, I love the block there. Push block timing is perfect. Oh, oh okay, he okay, repositioned okay. to keep corner there also. I actually really like that. There was a lot of thought that went into the black dashes there coming out from Joey, but unfortunately not going to work as two games. Oh, he knows. Joey says, you know what? Yeah, Let's get rid I of like this, this character. I like this. We need X Factor for Dr. Doom or Dante. Also, his Shuma looks fine. I think with assists, I think he can get it done. I bet you'll practice some Shuma when he goes home after this. Oh, Ooh, okay, man. I stand corrected. He practiced. That was disgust. I, man, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> DHC out? No, Joey. DHC too late. Get a chip here. Probably Alpha Counter. Possibly. Alpha Counter is the yeah. right call for sure. Alpha Counter hard huh? drive would have been amazing, but maybe just didn't want to get the mode. Oh, cross under jam session call here for Joey. Looking good. Yes, we got the infinites. We are offline. No, but the M's. Okay, looking for the jam session. Look in the middle. Oh, what a throw from Apology Man here. Oh, missed the grapple. Looked a little late. Didn't get TK. Right. So it's looking for the raw grapple here, which I do like. Fishing with ADK and neutral is not a bad idea, especially when you're playing against an opponent whose main movement tool to get to you, to threaten you, is a hitbox that you can grab. Hey, here we go. Jo Optimal? Yes. Joey looking good there. He definitely got the Shuma. 
DHC out, million dollars. Yes, gets a kill on Spencer. One kill away on the Sentinel. He's right back in. No time for tag, I don't think, though. Yeah, has to leave in Dante. That's this okay. Fine. That's okay. That's not okay. Yep, all of a sudden, Apology Man. I can see the YouTube title now. He said, I have he the best okay. Sentinel, not <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> Same side. Oh, oh my god! All the way from NorCal! Jesus bro, Christ! Yo, robot <laughs> just sitting there ominously says, you know what, I'm gonna wait. You won't do it again though. You, he won't do it again. You're not the a shimmy time. was crazy! And this isn't even matchup here. Are we in the name of the game, jump medium, he oh launches again! My god. Oh my god, that combos! X Factor 3! It's not enough. He he won't do it a third time, Proxy, will he? I don't know anymore. He's There's no loose, way. He's a loose cannon cop. There's no way. Oh, oh lands okay, the light. Okay, Not okay. gonna work. Oof. Gets the hit. Joey D on the board. That was almost the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> he said he kicked him from NorCal. <laughs> Bro, listen. GC Yoshi, the, 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 the influence far and wide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, gets the stab. To bring that doom back. I like that. Good decision making. Oh, look at the chase down there, the movement from Joey, trying to get in with the raw launcher, Apology Man hits. And a soft knockout on that laser, so you oh. can, it's reliable to be able to get the knockdown. You think he snaps again? Look for the OTG here. I wouldn't be upset about it. He did straight shot for the double hard knockdown! <laughs> Bro, Apology Man is so good. Let's oh be my here. god, drone's coming! Oh, uh, he said you can have this character. Yeah. Looking for the crouch M there. Okay, Psionic Blaster does get the kill. Break on the way down. Okay, good anti air. It's still, I think, an okay situation for Joey, though. You have Anchor Doom, and if you can get Modok here, that'd be huge. Oh, I love, I love the adjustment there. Yep. Joey did Killer B off of the H, yep. just knowing that H to airplay is kind of rough for the big body. Especially, yeah, and then you can get, uh, it, it's super stable from there, because yeah. you can go prop shredder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very good adjustment there. All right, stand jab, trying to frame trap it. Oh, block the cross up there from Apology Man. Jam Session Doom is extremely scary on incoming. Just gotta watch the ADKs. Those will get you in trouble, but no, the air to air M does connect. Yeah, Jab maybe would have worked, but it was a weird situation here. Cross up is gonna hit Dante. Oh, with the low X Factor throw, Joey D ain't having none of it. Yeah, I mean, this is a character that obviously is incredibly well practiced for Joey being on his main team. You gotta be ready for those X Factor cancels. Get the kill here, and you're back to punting practice. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Dante's oh, dead. No. Oh, oh my god, god, he converts it with the grapple. Oh. Does he have these? Apology, man. No, okay, nice block. Still in it. Oh, oh my god, with the no. zip. The non-blockable with the zip. Apology, man's going to do it. That was, ri oh that was ridiculous. Okay, listen, I'd like to formally write my... Where's the uh, the, uh, the Apology, man? Uh, fan the, club? The, apology, the, fan the apology club? form. He's got a Sentinel. He, he had a MODOK. He was zipping around with Spencer. He was there. You should go shake his hand. Oh Let my him know, God, man. He's he is, he's put the work on. Oh, my bad. My yeah. bad. Yeah, no, good <laughs> stuff. Gonna be heading on forward in this bracket, and it is single elimination, so you've got to fight for your life. One loss, and you're in the drink. That's it. You done? Oh That's my God. It. And then we got our next two coming up already. They're already ready to go. We're into the top eight of the auction tournament here. Obviously, it narrows down very, very quickly. But before we get into the top eight here, we are going to throw it over to another short ad break. But we're going to be back for some more auction tournament action in just a moment here at Combo Breaker 2023. Yo, you see that overhead? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Nobody was blocking that. Ooh, I anyway. definitely got hit. That Ooh. was wild, man. These matches have been great. Oh, absolutely. You know what? We're about to take a quick break here. And Combo Breaker 2023 is still going on. Uh, don't worry. This time, we're going to order for yeah, you. Yeah, we got you. Don't, don't even worry about be it. Be right back. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023, everybody. The Marvel Auction Tournament. Surprise! Thought you wouldn't see me. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> Got to slide in here. They had to let a uh, auction champion, in or champion himself set oh. in on this. I've only mentioned that about 100 times this weekend. Listen, but uh, when you take those wins, when you have those Ws, you've got to keep them close to your heart. Oh, you know it's the only one I've got. 
<laughs> there you go. See, listen, bro. That's, that's all and we someone else is going to know this glory tonight. Uh, the auction tournament is special. It is one of the most incredible inventions of the Midwest. Yeah. Uh, we've seen it now branch out into multiple different games. So different flavor of auctions uh, and you know, Smash, Guilty Gear, all over the place. But this is where it started, baby. Yes. With the ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 auction tournament. I think the, the one that I won, I used Team Zip. Team Zip. That, that's yep. all they told you. You just had to go on faith, man. I paid like $23 for it. Cheap. Oh, it was much cheaper back then. But we're going to have our next players back up again. It's going to be Ramor versus Monday. Ramor immediately going to oh get the happy God. birthday here. With the Tron? Bro, he's been oh, mm, well, I mean, it's still working out. So X Factor has been bought. Magneto's going to go down, and Dormammu comes in and bleeding. But with the X Factor already out, you definitely do not have that same version. <laughs> Oh, but Magneto's the most important one to kill on this team. When we were watching earlier, Monday struggled a little bit with the mm. dorm, and, the, and he definitely does not no, know how to play the dog. No, he does no. not know how to play the dog. Yeah, that's part of the auction tournament business. You got to roll with the punches you're given. And in this case, he pulled Amad Ross out of the hat after missing on his team. And the original bidding war just comes in X Factor swinging, but no good. The Dante's going to find the hit. Or more should be good at this. No, nah, okay, he's trying sorry. to go gun loops. He has been like <laughs> dropping combos, going for like optimal, optimal stuff on purpose. Yeah. And uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, bite him a little bit here. <laughs> oh man, every Amaterasu player cringing right there. We tried to do an air super just in the middle of a magic series in the air. That's not going to cut it. <laughs> a good throw. Okay, we're more paying attention. That is absolutely punishable. Well done. And should be able to finish here. Five bars built up. That will be the kill. Misses the capture state, unfortunately. So now another opportunity. But Monday, not a lot to really do with it here. He's going to go for the lunch rush and just DHC. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't do that. He raises his hands in the air. He says, I, I don't know, man. What, when, you, what were you pressing? When you see the paper, you might as well just poke yeah. him. That's a good call. Yeah, with a level three. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Best no, poke in the dude. game, Dante level three. There we go. First one down. He's going to oh. go for the tag there. Unfortunately, he didn't have the Tron started, so he gets himself back in the order. Yeah, and the Magneto is going to try to get something happening in here because it <laughs> just catches a bonk right on the top of the head. And the more Tron bread and butter is clean. Yeah, and that's the worst part about this, too, is that even when you get the hit with Magneto, Magneto is one of the characters mm. I feel like that has the most trouble comboing Tron, Tron because body. of how particular his, uh, his combos are. Yeah, that's that's true. Very particular combos and, of course, a nightmarish body type in Tron. But we're going to put Magneto on the bench for a second, get the Stalking Flare out, tries the tries the, <laughs> the saddest Dark Matter mix-up <laughs> I've ever <laughs> seen. Not in. That's okay. Going to end up finding the hit. Anyways, no, Cold Star not able to extend the combo. Awkward. Yeah, had, this had, is awkward. Had to look for a mix there. Gets push blocked into the jam session. Lunch Rush will combo from there. And again, like I said, even if he wants to, which he hasn't so far, this team can do Abigan stuff. It can go Transformation Super and just go for hits during That's Lunch right. Rush. Yeah. For anybody who's not familiar, those very, very absurd setups that yes. comes with Tron Bond. A lot of tech buried in that character. Now they get the Anchor Ami again. Oh, we survived the incoming. Raw X Factor, but nothing started. Gonna go for the slowdown. GT just to get yourself out of trouble a little bit. Mm. Has Psycho Crusher to get away. Well, yeah. yeah. He's more thinking the exact same thing. I'm just going to use all my tools in Devil Trigger. Totally extinguish this X Factor. I have no reason to engage you if I don't have to. And your Ami sucks. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, my God. Go for the gun loops. Optimize a little bit here. Has built up the second bar. Okay. That work? Nah. Yeah, no, no, no. You got it like that, bro. Come on. I respect it, though. Some real auction tournament stuff. But the unfortunate thing here is that Monday needs 57 more hits because he does not have Amy Couple. That is exactly measure. Oh, he actually gets a little follow up on the Dante assist there. So, I mean, if we get a couple hits on Trombon, she will die. But, yeah, even with Dante missing like 30% life, that is still such a tall, tall mountain to climb. And Remore goes up 2 0. So Magneto on point <laughs> once again has to do the work. Does get the first hit here. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Marvel at its finest. You can't tell me otherwise. Snapbag. Okay, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, the, the drawing's been doing work, for real. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> know about putting her in the back. I'm a I little scared. We'll Virgil definitely the biggest target on the team for sure, though. I mean, Ramor, Ramor himself has said, I mean, that's what he bit on the team for. Yeah. Ooh, fights their way out of the Cold Star, but not able to completely confirm. And Monday's going to find a back throw into the corner. This is a super optimal back throw starter. So, I mean, plenty of meter on deck. And Virgil should definitely go down here if we complete our combo. He's just going to keep advancing. 
Why not? Yep, has Chaotic Flame after this. Oh, he's gonna go for Talking Flare, go actually. Go for the Jason Kiddo. Uh, I thought he was gonna go slow, and I was ready for some... Where did the Stalking Flare go? He dc before Too it left early. his hands, yeah. So that's one of the unfortunate things, especially when you're not a Dormammu player, is knowing the timing. If he hasn't let go of it yet, it goes away. Bummer for Mundank there. Now the, the Ami fighting in neutral does find a back throw. A little bit of a goofy mid-screen set up there, but we don't get anything off of it. Meanwhile, Tron is looking like very healthy right now. That's a lot of HP left. Tron Jam Session is looking like the move, bro. I'm gonna have to try this. Crazy Dance? Mm, no, I thought he was gonna go for it, it after Jet Stream. <laughs> he went for it. Is Amy gonna be able to get out of here? Yes, they are. Okay, block the Shockwave. Is that coming? Yeah, forces out the X-Factor. Nicely done. So now Mundane's gonna have to scramble here. Ah, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I'm sure Remora does not Everybody. care. Your X-Factor yeah. for my Tron? Bet. In day. Okay. Dante, next one in. Gets the air throw back to the mid screen. Okay, he's gonna optimize for meter here. Probably gonna see a snap. Instead, we're gonna see a Helmbreaker. Doesn't matter which character's doing it at this point, to be honest. We, the secret's out. Dante Helmbreaker ain't bad, and it's special cancelable, so you, you get a lot of mileage out of it. And the devil trigger activation. So now they're gonna have to hold this whole incoming. Okay. Oh, I like Trades? that match, though. Yeah. Good press. Ooh. Gets the hit on one, almost wow. gets it on both. Oh, just forces the raw X-Factor, but unfortunately, with that Devil Trigger active, crossover slash hitbox is massive. Mm. The combo still gets a throw, though. You can... mm. Yeah, didn't quite get the extension there, but Mundane trying to fight out with the Chaotic Flame, and instead, the super is stuffed, and with the meter built, this should do it. A 3-0 for Memora over KO Club Zone Monday. Yeah, I mean, Mundek was trying to go for it. He was uh, he was definitely looking out for it himself. Uh, he had a nice investment into the Magneto <laughs> there, knowing that his his Dormammu was definitely one of his weaker characters there. So he was trying to go for it, but couldn't quite as uh, Mr. Tong Lee himself let him know. He said, Ramora, you suck. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> good job for Ramora. Moving on, and you better yeah. believe the Twitch chat will be ready to riot if Ramora takes away this massive pot. Fun fact, Ramora has already won an auction tournament before, though. He is also ah, is fellow in. Fellow champion. He also, yeah, I was going to say, ah, a part of the Champions Club, mm. for sure. He's got the jacket. Yeah, that's this. The more esteemed <laughs> company I find myself joining all the time. It's oh very impressive. God, very, dude. very impressive. It, no, I, I got to win one of these. I gotta be honest. The flex is crazy. The amount of money that went into this one is staggering. Over twelve hundred dollars. Very, very insane. I think the last highest bid I saw was Jabali on a Street Fighter Four Balrog. Yeah, that was oh, and like, he went in. That was that was pretty high. It was something like ninety dollars, I think, uh, for Balrog, and he ended up, you know, Jabali. Oh. We have multiple <laughs> people over a hundred in this, though, and they multiple. go zero and one. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. I mean, one of the matches was a hundred and a uh, hundred and eighty, two hundred and eighty dollars between the oh, two, and one of them had to get eliminated. I got to be honest, you know, and this is the only time I'll probably ever give Joey D respect, much love, but never respect. Uh, I got to say. <laughs> Him admitting that he basically bought the last team just to play, just to be in it, just to be a part of the gamble because yeah. it had Doom and that was enough. Uh, there's a lot of people who show up to the auction tournaments with that energy. Yeah. I've seen somebody outbid Justin Wong on their own team, Wolverine Storm Akuma, for some absurd amount of money. He was he was not a Marvel player. No, he, just he was just outbidding Justin. He was just trolling. For the fans. Yeah, that's what auction tournaments are all about. They're about energy. They're about fun. They're about mixing things up. And of course, you just inject massive stakes into it. This time with a 70-30 cut yes. between uh, one and and two. That's that's a pretty steep drop, but still 30% of a grand. That's that's 300 bucks. Yeah, at this point, honestly, just uh, get your money back. <laughs> like, so yeah, everybody's people, fighting so for their money people, back. I was gonna say, dude, <laughs> fighting for our lives out here. Jabril was someone. Uh, Jabril was one of the biggest winners of this auction. That's I feel right. like oh, Magneto yeah. Morgan, obviously an incredibly strong shell, and then he got a versatile, good beam assist. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Thor is a good character in this kind of format because the HP's big, yep. so there's going to be a lot of goofy combos where he's just going to survive, and Mighty Spark is not terrible. But I also think if we're going to talk about values, getting zero for $50. Crazy. There's only uh, This was the team that I couldn't believe didn't go for more. Was this is a $100-plus team. Was it the only zero? No. What was the other zero team? Oh, the other zero was out of the bag, actually, I think. Yeah, uh, you're right. But it was the only auction zero by name. So that was a... Uh, 
Yeah, a steal for $50. And Doctor Strange? I mean, come on. But so far, Jabril making mincemeat of this right now, just punishing this Trish. I mean, Magneto definitely, I would say, has an advantage over Trish. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, Man. almost had his five bars built up for Dark Thor. He was in there. Dark Thor. I just want to give a quick shout-out to uh, Zeno's Trish earlier, who was pulling out the bread and butter, you know, actually showing what they knew yeah. what they could do. But this Doctor Strange has been having some problems getting started. Very stiff character against someone like Magneto. Oh, just having to hold all this pressure, mix after mix after mix. Finally going to lose this character. What's Anchor Zero going to do here? Anchor Zero has been the moneymaker so far for Zeno, though. Mm -hmm. This has been definitely the most practiced-looking character for sure, who's been getting the most done. He's able to completely avoid the Shockwave. Gets a punish on the Shadow Servant as well, which is not easy. That was a weird timing for him to hit the ground. Yes, very, very weird. But Zeno going to try to make the most of this. So this is a dead Morgan if we hit this. Yes, we do. And we should have a pretty substantial mix op opportunity here. Just lets him out. No yeah. meaty. You've got to go meaty and then go for a mix afterwards there. Meaty M Lightning is usually the right call. And there we go. We find the hit. Jabril is going to go for the squeeze. And it's going to take game one. Let's be honest. Everybody who's ever gone to character select at their house picked Magneto just to practice some combos. You know, maybe you're not a Magneto player, but you want to just, you want to feel like Ray Ray for a day. This is the perfect Ooh. tournament to do that in. Pull out your 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 silliest Magneto stuff that you practice. I mean, nobody in the world knows Jabril is a Magneto player. But he's not doing bad. No, he's got it. I mean, he's got the combos. Neutral's looking pretty decent here. And obviously has Morgan behind him. Azino at this point is doing a decent job of setting up the projectiles to prevent approach, but Jabril does not mm. care about approaching at all. No, uh, he's very care comfortable just doing this and building a lot of meter with the Morgan assist. So maybe at some point going to fancy going into Morgan, but actually finally just gets a rush down sequence. Look at all that meter differential, five to two. Yikes. He's going for the infinite when he had five bars too, just because. <laughs> Yeah, that's extremely unnecessary. Although the supers are a little awkward for the corner. True. Um, it could be a little weird, but I still think we could have done it. Oh, the soul drain just hurt so good. Oh, my mercy. Please let Zeno go out of this. Yeah, called the uh, most. Called the EM Disruptor. Pretty much the perfect mm. time there. Is going to go for the projectile counter, which is going to stop it. Yeah, it slows down the action a little bit, but it doesn't actually buy Doctor Strange any opportunities on its own. So Jabril just immediately air dashes in and gets another hit. Falls out of the combo, air dash in. Jabril is pit playing maximum disrespect right now. Yeah, he's looking for the chip there with the DP in the air as well. Same situation, mm -hmm. there's the throw. Zeno, maybe an X-Factor. If you know the combo, you got to expect it there, I think. I think so, yeah. You were going to get that HP back if you if you went ahead and did it and got that kill. But now he seems like the plan is Dark Zero. Zeno is committed. Oh. But unfortunately... <laughs> Instant lights. Instant lights. <laughs> Followed it up. Jabril takes the kill, takes the game, and sets it up 2-0 to zero now. That was fast. The potential to finish this thing off right here, right now. Just imagine paying 60 bucks and winning, like, a grand. That'd be crazy. <laughs> These two are both in on the value of a lifetime. <laughs> How'd he get Magneto Morgan for 60? I'm just like reflecting on these teams. Like, you really bought that for less than Is 100. Is Fuente not in the crowd? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would have thought for sure uh, Ethan would have been all over that, but doesn't matter. And Trish is getting bodied again in this neutral. I mean, if we saw when Xeno was able to get something started, that they were able to hit those combos and able to, you know, make it more of a. A competitive match, not just a character yeah. they drew out of a hat, but... Okay, the truth is kind of starting to box Magneto in a little bit, but look at that meter differential. Yeah, that's the biggest problem here. Gets the air throw. Super from that distance is going to hit a little bit, but not oh, a lot. That's not it, man. That hurts. That hurts for all of us to see. The super Super is going to be good, so even if you block this, you're going to fall into these soul fists. Oh my <laughs> you God. just let her go. Chips him with the fireball. Doctor Strange, the next one in. It's going to come down to the anchor zero once again. But like we said, the meter differential is just like near un. It's, what does Strange do without bar here? I I got to be honest. You're at this point. You're looking for things like raw teleports with Doctor Strange. Yeah. And that's a terrible idea. Oh, look at all that damage just stacking on on block. And I mean, Doctor Strange is a huge character. He does not do well with Soul Fist in neutral. Just has enough time to bring back in Magneto for the for the neutral against Zero. And as the Zero presses, forces out the X-Factor. Going to try to box in Magneto and get this started. But look at that, that flawless movement. He catches him, but he doesn't finish him. 
Oh, gets the air throw again. Takes the kill. Okay. One character down. Please medium. Please medium. Nice. Good idea, but nice block from Jabril. Yeah, knowing that they weren't all the way in the corner there, Jabril felt that urge from the zero player to get that full cross up. Mix up, block cross up, and now, after the attempted punish on the Morgan says Thor finds a hit on zero. Getting to see a little bit of Jabril Thor here. <laughs> and I mean a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, unfortunately, he didn't have much to show us. Mm. Missed out on the opportunity again. Worst super in the game Terrible. in response. Absolutely horrible. And it worked out, though. Driven. It did its job, cleared the screen, got the soul the soul drains back on it, and, and honestly, at that point, Zeno was running on borrowed time. Yeah. But, you know, pay 50 bucks to get in on this dance. That's not so bad. If your potential return on investment is is 30 to 70% of the amount of money that we have in this prize <laughs> pot, 50 ain't nothing. Yeah, well, I respect how, that. Anybody checking on LT? How's LT doing? I know he can't be hanging out at the bar. So, Nobody hope he's okay. can't even hang out at the... Oh hope he's okay. Oh, my God, dude. It's a big spin to lose to a Spider-Man. And he mice. got finessed, too, on, like, a crazy Up two comeback. Zero. Up 2-0. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but this is going to be another tough one coming to the mm. stage. It is going to be Duel Kevin and Apology Man. I think one of the best stories of this auction tournament was Apology Man driving up that absurd bidding war against Ray Ray, basically just for Sentinel. Yeah, but I, I don't even like. Why did Apology Man get in on this? I don't know. He's <laughs> he's winning. I know he's doing well. I, I didn't know he had a Modok. I didn't no. know he had a Spencer. No. The Sentinel looked fine. He's been he's been gaming. I mean, the fundamentals are there, right? Tag game fundamentals that's, are a serious thing, and he's been successful in multiple tag games. That's Red Bull Apology Man. You ain't wrong. You don't get those letters oh for God. no reason, man. You're not just the gimmick Piccolo. You earned it. So yeah, you can walk up in the auction tournament and lop a few heads, but this is going to be pretty tough because Fight. Dual Kevin got his stuff. Yes, he did. I mean, basically that was we were selling essentially the Dual Kevin package. Yeah, that's and then, right. And he was uh, he was ready for the low low price of uh, so much money, fifty dollars, so something much like that. Money. I didn't. Uh, I I couldn't see from behind the stage. Were they bidding with Wedge? I think you're. I think it was Wedge, Wedge who was, was stepping Wedge. up, uh, also bidding in that war. And uh, someone asked me back there, and he was like. You know, just for someone who hasn't played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 as actively recently, is Hawkeye Deadpool $150 good? And I was like, I think the only two players on the planet who would pay that are in the building. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it really, honestly and truly, it just came down to those two at that point. Some of these were a little specialized. I mean, we had the Wesker Akuma that people were bidding on right. as well. That was a good value it purchase there for Sword. 11 Legend got chased off his own show. He did. How horrible is that? And honestly, that's another wrinkle of the auction tournament is you you think, like, for instance, I first wanted to bid on what I thought was going to be an Arthur team because it was called Team Sword. I was yeah. pretty confident that Arthur was going to be in that team, but you put Sword in the name, so I never had a chance at bidding on Arthur. Never. Never had a chance. So, Both Sparta Brothers, Zero, oh, yeah. unbelievable, Taskmaster. I think Trish and Taskmaster were the other two characters, so that they ended up getting trolled a little bit. Uh, but what, but that's the part of it. And, and I'm sure Airborne thought he was going to get in on that Spider-Man Doom. And you yep. might think that you're such a niche player. Suddenly that guy standing next to you is putting up $100, oh dude. Oh, my God, dude. And you're paying more than the Zero player paid. <laughs> but let's get it, though. Honestly and truly... Dual Kevin looked incredibly strong last time, and having the Lariat here. This is another $200 plus game between the two and their bids in to get in to even just compete in this. It's kind of like a proxy jam session, a little bit. You know, it, it, it kind of fills a similar role up close when he calls the Hagger to get those scramble hits with the jam session. Obviously, not nearly the vertical cover, and Hagger is not nearly the character that Dante is, but more than enough to round up the team. For 150 smacks. Exactly. That and against characters that need, I feel like they need to rush down. Hagar mm. has been an incredible tool just for Hawkeye as well. That's Hawkeye true. with Larry is pretty hard to approach. <laughs> annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> DHC is smart, though. If anyone's going to go, it might as well be Hagar. That's, Let him yeah, have him. Absolutely true. I'm sure Dual Kevin has like a negative Hagar. And I, I'm not that we haven't all picked up. Oh, I should shut up. Look, I, he's I clearly got know everything, nothing, bro. bro. I clearly know nothing. Is that Tong on the stage? Oh my god, they switched out. Oh my he had the extension oh, too. No, oh, he no, missed no. out though. I think I was, I was trying to go for the uh, for the whirlwind. That was scary. That was scary. And now the Sentinel, which is gone. Uh, oh, he has. 
Oh, he has quick work assist. That's actually busted. Yeah, with the pipe. Yeah. Shouts to uh, Natsoi, who played that for a while. Very, very annoying. Oh, trying to jump forward and get in a Modoc assist call. I think he's playing the jamming bomb. Or not the jamming bomb, the balloon bomb. Oh, bro. That's going to hit, but not do very much damage. That's not going to Oh, work. yeah, not in the corner, unfortunately. Very ambitious. Should have gone for the ADK instead. Looking for the command throw from so damn far. <laughs> Misses the first one, but just go ahead and said, I'm going to do it again. Finds the second one. Modok coming in with almost no HP. Just goes for the hard read, and Apology Man literally reels back and laughs. This is going to be a lot of work for an almost zero HP Modok. Has to force the X Factor early, and any Greyhound assist from Hawkeye here, I think, would kill. So he is just going for command grab at every. It's medium hooligan is what we want here, but now unfortunately he's going to go down. Okay, chases down the double jump, which is a pretty popular incoming option from Deadpool players. Basically, if you're you know, Dante, Arthur, anybody who has a double jump, you're overwhelmingly compelled to do it on incoming. So good job for Apology Man to chase it down. How are you going to kill Hawkeye here? Yeah, I think he thought Dorito was going to stop that. I, I think <laughs> he, he was moving. He he hoped. <laughs> Even there, he's like, yeah, listen, man. He hoped. Or the try. It was a big Dorito. He definitely That's put true. a little bit of knowledge into it, but not enough to get the job done. Duel Kevin goes up 1-0, just barely misses a confirm and neutral there off the Greyhound assist. Yeah, these neutral patterns are pretty strong against the uh, the Modog drones. And one thing for people that have not watched a lot of Duel Kevin's footage or high-level Deadpool, one of the things that's really important to see about the way Duel Kevin plays it is when you super jump, you can't call assist. Duel Kevin no. is getting this much height using the movement from Deadpool without ever calling the assist. He can always Larry it during these jumps, which is the scariest part. Basically gets a, a triple jump because you get the double jump and then the wall jump. So yeah, it creates very annoying situations with the the Hagger Lariat. This is actually maybe Look how good the kill. CHC is. Look how good the CHC is. Are you oh. serious? <laughs> made to be. Duel Kevin is screaming. I could see it through his eyes. He is smiling with that, his eyes. I think he actually. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, fakes the throw and goes low. That's a Duel Kevin classic. I've lost that I don't know how many times in the Midwest myself. No, missing the super though. Okay, Team Super is gonna get the punch on Hawkeye. Gets them both actually! No way. Are you kidding me? Just vaporizes Hawkeye and the X Factor is gone from Deadpool, so this is a huge opportunity for Spencer. He's waiting for another Team Super. He wants to do it so bad. Smart does not go into the DAC. Gonna have an opportunity to punish Deadpool when he lands. Not able to find it though. Just uh, one drone would do it. I think he dies from a blocked arm too, but instead it's gonna be the anti air crouching light. All up to the Hagar, gets no, the cross don't. up. We have solo Hagar versus an. Oh, I was about to say oh half HP God. Spencer. So if you hit this Spencer, you absolutely have enough damage to kill. And I, think, I think Sentinel does really well in this match though. He does. If he gets out, and he should be able to. Wow, that was like tier He's seven Yomi. He's out. Tier seven Yomi right Nothing there. Nothing land back throw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and all, I mean, I guess what Duel Kevin really probably was expecting was a hard drive. So wanted to be available to jump up and get a punish if they were if they were so inclined. But now with the space, yeah, three meters on Hagger, but you can't combo into the level three. So you're going to have to either get that raw level three and knock off a bunch of Sentinel's life. Oh, you're going to have to get a full hit. Apology yeah. Man knows that zones him out. But standing medium, crouching medium, launcher. Uh, the beam is really good if you know you have time to flight cancel. Because if you go low beam and he jumps, you can flight and like go for standing yeah, medium. Yeah. Or you can just you fly want. away. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Very, very brutal matchup. So ties it up one to one for the $250 money, money match. Essentially. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, the Modoc neutral is looking a lot better here. We're getting the Sentinel on screen, so maybe some adaptation coming online here from Apology Man. The zoning is working out pretty well here, honestly and truly. The Dorito continues to put in an insane amount of work. We will stop most of the shots here from Deadpool. Yeah, it's very, very crucial that when your counter oh, that was a great push guard bait from Duel Kevin, but not able to convert. It's crucial that when you're fighting Deadpool, you do not get caught up playing in their game too much. Got to com commit to your own zoning patterns also. Oh my god, fakes the TAC. It's not as believable when Hagar is the recipient no, of the no, no, TAC, no, 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 no. but I respect it. Yes, absolutely. Basically making sure Duel Kevin was paying attention and not just, you know, mashing. 
gonna be enough? No, he jumps over it. That's, yeah, you can't. You risk zipping in, and you might get yeah. hit by that la that lariat super. A lot of damage on Modok too. Modok is gonna come in with most of his life missing already, and it's gonna come down to the Sentinel. Dual Kevin hits the mix up. Doesn't even need the jam session. He said, "I'm switching to Hagar." To be honest, <laughs> I would never recommend that. But with the Sentinel coming in and immediately getting thrown, X Factor available and another assist. Three meter. Oh, we don't get that third meter, but we gonna need it. I think this kills for sure. If not, it's gonna leave him just a pixel. But instead, oh, he gets the wrong super. Goodness. We've seen Apology Man Sentinel do some crazy stuff already. I think it all starts with a very, very good Hyper Sentinel Force. So Dual Kevin has to be super careful to call their assist. Maybe just don't. I mean, Oh, yeah. unfortunately, he didn't have time. Went for the launch. You could see he was yes. rearing back the leg for the launcher. He was trying to kick the field goal, but not quite. Scored a couple of those on Joey D. So, uh, yeah. Apology Man still in this, but that ground was definitely a lot more brutal. Oh. That, that is really annoying. The Deadpool pressure Ooh. with the Lariat. Finds a diagonal grapple, is able to get the conversion this time. TAC is blocked though. Oh, disrespect. But I think Modok got tapped maybe by the meaty button from Deadpool, so no follow up from, from Spencer there. Deadpool pressuring. Spencer back to the corner, holding all these assists, holding all these layers, but not biting. Finds his way out, but then just gets hit by the overhead anyway. A lot of the time, the overhead feels like, it feels like the threat of the overhead is better than the actual overhead, but this time it works out. Yeah, got to bust it out at exactly the right time. It is a slow overhead, don't get me wrong. It's totally reactable, but appropriately used by Dual Kevin. And now Modok's going to try to get something going on here. That super is probably not going to connect. Now we have no meter left from Modok. Bang, bang, bang. That's good. No DAC and a Hagger available, but that's okay. Pretty content to just lane this out and shoot this head, bro. And now Sentinel, unfortunately, coming into the Deadpool matchup. This is not a great one here. Obviously, very, very difficult. Gets a little bit of damage on Hagar, but that is not going to help at all. Because now we have no bar to work with. Mm, wait a minute. That actually just raw beats the armor. So with... With that, I mean, we have an X Factor available. Knows the correct extension. Going to take it three to one. A little bit impressed by Dual Kevin's Hagger there. Yeah, I mean the Hagar looked good, and a huge shout out to Apology Man as well, who oh, obviously yeah. was uh was performing. As it was, it was good stuff. It was very fun to get to see a lot of these uh whether it's the older players or the newer players come through and uh, handle business. Celebrity entrant. Yeah, there you go. Our celebrity entrant. <laughs> the celebrity of the, shot uh, from beneath. We have our, uh, our little 16 oh pool God. of teams. And, I mean, Apology Man is one of the legends. So Very true. Not surprising to see, like, all of us. Like, I was talking about, you know, trying to be Ray Ray for a day. How many times have you been in character select and just played with a character that you have no business ever playing? My main team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. But... We're going to continue pressing on forward. It looks like we are going to have, yeah, another good one here. Monix is back up to the stage. Little Monix is going to be facing off against Jason Game Dev. So it is going to be the, uh, it's like the great value uh, Daywalker yeah, versus uh, yeah. Monix, who I'm going to keep it a buck with you. The Ryu was impressive. The Ryu was Oh, the crowd went nuts. The Ryu was impressive. The crowd went nuts. Nobody was ready for the Ryu to make that comeback and make things uh, tied again. But I got. I just want to reiterate really quickly. I know Tong already mentioned it. Jason's a hero. Jason, yeah. absolutely one of our heroes of the Parsec team and keeping things going while the doors were closed and yep. really re introducing us into a new era. So just a phenomenal thing. And I want to give a quick shout out to Lil Monks' cat. Huge. His name is huge? No, but it is huge. Biggest oh. cat I've ever seen. My god. So, yeah. That's it. That's Yeah. <laughs> big I'm, nice. I'm Boulder, bro. Oh, boulder size kitty cat. Dude. Yeah, big sweetie. Well, we'll see how Monix is able to handle things here with the Spider-Man. As a point matchup here, Wolverine versus Spider-Man. I feel like getting separation is the most important thing. The scariest mm. part against Wolverine is almost always 99 seconds. It depends on your character, but playing 99 with Wolverine feels like a death sentence. 100%. Um, there are a couple of tactics that you have to look out for if you are playing Wolverine versus Spider-Man at the 99. 
I'm sure Lil Monix is going to know what they need to do to get that separation early. Yeah. I'm wondering if Jason's going to know what they need to do to cancel that separation early. True. It is actually pretty decent for Spider-Man. Get out of there. Oh, he catches him trying to dash back. Okay, so space secure. That's definitely a good way to start it here. Gets the first touch, and unfortunately, the has already spent the Berserker Barrage, so now not gaining meter in these neutral interactions. Nope, no meter. So Wolverine sitting, you know, zero levels right now. Finding a hit on Spider-Man, who's already pretty low. So with one bar and the Virgil assist, actually, yeah, good, good job. Don't go to the Virgil assist. You would lose that combo. Great job by Jason. I feel like I've heard Ryu players say that Light Tossu is actually pretty good against uh, Wolverine. I feel it's like annoying. there's not a lot of things that he can do to kind of uh, yeah. get up there to, to mess with it. Yeah, you do have to get your dive kick kind of in above the, the Tatsu, but that is pretty obnoxious. Were you able to melt away the last remainder of the Wolverine? And now Iron Man is just going to come in and do his best. Listen, man, it's funny when Ryu's on the screen and we still are talking about He's got the Tatsu! Oh, okay. Oh, good block there from Jason. So going to be able to keep their Virgil alive. Hard tags in Iron Man. So Jason's looking at that X Factor. Okay, got the snap. If you find this hit, maybe go for the X. Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, dude, Ryu is doing all the heavy lifting. Dead? Why did he even bid on the Spider-Man? Vir <laughs> Virgil is dead, so now gonna have to hold this incoming. Oh, Monix went. This this level three sucks. It's horrible. Like I said, just purely doing his best. Good confirm though with the awkward Iron Man normals. Knows he can get the relaunch there in X Factor 3. And we have one more meter left. Body hop was good, but the reaction from Lil Monix a little bit better. This is not a bad matchup at all, but the key to it, uh, I was going to say, the key for Iron Man in this match is Repulsor Blast. Eats sure. the projectiles, stops Doom from being able to approach. It's kind of hard for Iron Man when he doesn't have a lead because it's hard to entice Doom to approach you Great to point. have to deal with it. Great but point. if you're ahead, it's really, really hard for Doom, actually. Yeah, you can shut down a lot of options from Doom, but if you're trying to create some opportunities of your own, definitely not ideal. Spider-Man going to get hit early. He comboed off of the Iron Man beam, so... If Jason wants to kill this character, you better believe he will be dead. Two for one. No. DP misses. Still out of it. Okay. Oh, he gets to punish with the web throw. I like that. Smart. Optimizing is going to be able to. Very optimal. A little bit of see you later action. See you later. Oh, he drops it on the way to the close, though. So Wolverine has another chance to get something started. Oh, but he gets it with the combo. web ball. Somehow, mm -hmm. web ball continues to be a relevant projectile. How does that work? Web ball is, <laughs> the web ball is very, very interesting against grounded characters because it, it will it beats like armor, you know, so it's pretty yeah. decent against hold. It actually has some applications. Great job from Lil Monix, who knew the, you know, what they were supposed to do in the Wolverine matchup. Launcher is punished from there. Only gets a fireball, though. Oh. Dashes up and gets the hit off the beam, so that's really good. Snap comes through. If you find this hit, Hado mm. Shoryu can actually potentially work. That Hado gene splice. Mm. Iron Man theme, too. He just approaches. He doesn't care at all, no. dude. He's just going in. This is Oxen Tournament, baby. We are fearless. We left all that fear out on the, in the checkbook, brother. Great conversion. Are we going to X? I like it. I mean, it's Doom, so level 2 X Factor live. You're going to get plenty of opportunity to kill this character and X Factor left over, so feels kind of like the party starter. This is going to go down the years, man. Oh, okay. Fire Good push try. Alpha counter into the... No, oh, it's alpha counter DP, though, unfortunate. If, if, it was, uh, if it was DP not Tatsu, there was potential there, actually. Yes. But he wakes up with the oh, normal. He gets oh, the oh, hit. Oh, oh. He's in this. Chooses the X Factor, which is a brilliant idea. If he needed the second bar, Spider-Man can get this combo anywhere, but doesn't. So a lot of X-Factor left on to... Oh, <laughs> my goodness. He has web ball extensions! Oh, my goodness. Just yeah. chip him. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Iron Man gets out, but this is about as wrapped up as it gets. <laughs> the Shoryu, the anti-air. The Street Fighter Six, Dude, Monix is beating everyone with Ryu. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Two characters are already getting picked up by the Tatsu assist at the start. Fortunate for Jason that they fall out, so we're going to get to play some Wolverine here. Oh, man, yeah. Just giving giving the Wolverine beam neutral a lot of problems here. And the see you laters once again back into loops as it should be. Yeah, for folks who don't know, this is extremely optimal. The see you later can loop many, many times, and it's great on damage scaling, so... One bar is going to put that Wolverine away. What's the incoming mix-up here? 
<laughs> just stops him from dashing away. And I feel like Raw see you later is like like web throw starter, I feel like is optimal. <laughs> very, very good. And of course if they blocked, then they would have came in and fell down into the Tatsu. So a lot of layers on show there from Lil Monix. Choosing to snap in the Virgil, that's exactly what you want to do. Gets a goofy little cross up there. Hard tag into Doom. We should be able to kill this character without Burning X. Yeah, with that micro step, you're able to get the OTG, make things work out. Virgil goes down, and Jason oh Game Dev Tournament Life is up to the Iron oh Guy. Boy. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see it, buddy. Uh, well, you did your best. That's. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. That's so bad. The Iron Man level 3 is just so awkward. Oh, Gene Splice is going to do it. Cleaves Iron Man into the heavens. Jason felt that one. Wow. Monix and the Ryu do it again. Unreal from this guy. Finished it off. Great stuff. And again, congratulations to Jason for doing so well. Top 8. Oh, it's a good showing. Hell yeah. I mean. You win one. Did lose to the Spider-Man Ryu. But apparently, that's going to be a lot of people. He might just win the whole damn thing at this rate. At the rate that he is going, he might just be able to take it down. But before we get to see the result, we are going to have to take one more short ad break before we get there. So winners finals will be back in just a moment here. Combo Breaker 2023. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They'll handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago. Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023 and it is time for the conclusion of the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 auction here. Three matches to go, two winner semis, and then we get to play one more to decide how the pot is going to be split my name is Proxy, joined here by the legend, KP. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Very kind of you. I'm excited to be back. I uh, have not been at a combo breaker since 2018. Oh, okay. In spite of this, you know, this was the original tournament I never missed. You know, even before it was combo breaker, I always came out here and had a great time. This is a very, very special place. Of course. Very special tournament series for me. So thrilled to be back. Thrilled to see this commentary or this uh, auction at, uh, action. But let's talk a little bit about these two players who are about to play. Because even in this context, it's kind of gnarly. It really is. I mean, one of the most standout things in this tournament so far has been uh, these two. Yeah. Obviously bidding on two incredibly strong shells. It's been Magneto Phoenix with the Thor for the beam assist. And then on the other side, Remora buys the brother Sparta. But Tron has <laughs> been doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> the Tron has been no joke. Uh, just to clarify quickly, there is no losers bracket. So this is the semifinals. And uh, we have Lomonix, who we just saw qualify yes. on the other side. And then I think they're waiting on one more player, maybe? Uh, I think the match is already set. I just don't remember who it is. I'll be honest with you. It's been a bloodbath. It really has. It definitely has been uh, going by in a flash. But over now it is time. Over $1,000. Yeah, over 12. It's like 1290 something. Pretty right? impressive. Unbelievable amount of money between everyone here. But Jabril is going to get the first touch. But as we said before, Magneto already is a little particular about mm. his combos. And mm. Tron is hard to hit. Wow. And here comes the happy birthday. Are you kidding me? The Tron has been finding double characters over and over and over. That is so unbelievably unfortunate. But at least the sword activation is going to cover our tail for the moment. Went for the Helmbreaker, gets the hit, Jabril, whatever it takes to kill the Virgil. But unfortunately, another dropped combo comes through. But for Jabril here, really, Morgan has been the one that, to carry. That's right. Yeah, the Morgan has been pretty good, and Jabril does have some time playing Morgan. So not just a Ray Ray for a day kind of vibe, but actually has a Morgan. So just like that, another happy birthday combo is going to see Virgil die and Dante. Extremely punished. And luckily, with a weird body characters like Tron, you don't have to worry about comboing her. Uh, just shoot her to death. <laughs> just fire the fireballs. Try and hold things down with the meatballs as best you can. And that prevent is the absolutely approach. preferable, 100% to comboing Tron any day. Zone her out. Her anti-zone options are pretty weak. There's a lot of commitments you have to do, either yeah. to the forward spike or to just, you know, kind of air dashing over and over. Pretty tough. Now, Dante is a pretty capable comeback character, but you got to have a Dante. You got to really know what you're doing with this character in X-Factor level 3. Oh, we're going to actually just use the level 3 of our own to get out and then pop our own X-Factor. How do you feel about that? 
Yeah, I think it's actually a pretty decent decision making here. It's able to get the punish on the Thor. Does get the tag out here. So Jabril's going to get one look. But with X Factor 3, a huge advantage for Mora here. Very, very big. And, and I mean, basically, Jabril thought that they were going to get a safe hard tag off of that missile super. Did not end up happening. And now Morgan vulnerable to getting hit neutral with X Factor alive. It's doing so much damage, but just barely not enough to finish it before the drop. Should still be able to chip here. Really, anything will do it here. Goes Asterix into DT. Acid Rain dodges Rain it with the throw, super. I think he tech enough. passed, and yeah, that's going to be a punish. Very sharp decision making, though, from both players who were looking for the proper opportunities to make it happen. Didn't end up coming together for Jabril, but for Mora, I kind of feel like snakes out of that one with a 1-0 one zero, one zero because they were looking kind of dire after the happy birthday. No, I absolutely agreed. A little bit of serve bot action, takes the shot. It's the jumping medium, does manage to get both. Keep it simple, this is the combo of your life. But he misses the OTG, it's just down and heavy. That's so unfortunate too, because we never, almost ever see Morgan get clipped during the Dark Harmonizer assist. So that was a massive opportunity for Tron to scrape both of those characters off the board. And now instead, we're gonna be losing our Tron. Yeah, finished it off. One more hit will do it. Could have just gone with a hit, but instead has to spend the meter because it was a little too late. Mm -hmm. Mighty Spark does extend our mix-up just enough. The follow-up opportunity from Jabril is good. So a nice, meaty starter. This is going to be more than enough. Oh, just, just chooses to, to reset. I guess the Morgan DAC is pretty awkward. Yeah, I mean, has also been going for TACs with Morgan and has completed a couple. So the threat true. of it is real enough. You've proved that it's worth trying to go for the That's test. That's true. But unfortunately, killing the team in the order has left him with the X Factor for Virgil. But that is an amazing answer. It should be a finish to the game. One to one. That was a great reaction. That was. Was. Usually, usually you're so terrified, petrified with fear from Virgil's own X Factor cancel. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be worried. I mean, you're looking for it, but you don't want to overextend because you're one button away from getting evaporated. But Jabril was laser focused there. Ends up every getting Every game. Every yeah. single game has found a happy word. They have some kind with Tron. Almost gets a second there. It's, a, it's the normals for sure. Tron's normals, especially when we're air dashing, they get out so far. So they're able to chase down those assist calls really effectively. But then another birthday on the other end from Jabril. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Virgil's still alive, but you gotta get in. Are we going to DAC here? I wouldn't have recommended it, but it's still going to work out either way. It's going to have to block a mix. Instead of blocking a mix-up, just go straight on. into the super. Oh, no. That is so unfortunate. No meaty incoming on Virgil and knew that they weren't actually going to get another follow-up on that assist. Went ahead and transitioned. Perfect timing into the incoming on Morgan. Now Thor's coming out basically dead. Escapes the incoming mix-up. Got to watch out for the mighty punish. Good job. I, but not going to worry about it too much here. Remora, that is why he paid $80 for this team. That's a smart investment. <laughs> That's a good investment. $80 Virgil is a steal, as we've said yeah. before. $80 Virgil in an auction tournament. Let's talk. I could definitely work for that. Okay. No first birthday this time. First hit again for Jabril. Going to go for the TAC. Really? Mm. really for real? Off of the down TAC. So that does make it a little bit more accessible. Still, you think with the awkward weight of Tron Bond that this could go awry. Does not look like Jabril has any intention of that. Okay, let him out. Come on, come on, Tron. Come on, Tron. Dropped in those later stages, gets the hit again. Should be able to kill off of this one. I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe. No Tron happy birthday this time. Not this time. Dante's going to have to come in and hold this incoming mix up. Just gets thrown out of hammer, bro. That's disrespectful. Back in my day, <laughs> that hammer would have destroyed him. <laughs> Goes for the snap. Definitely Smart. the right decision for sure. No me again, though. Going to force the X Factor. But I think I think Remora is more than okay with that. Yeah, with high go low, finds that touch once again. Magneto goes down. Morgan has to block the incoming. It might be Thor by himself again. The level three on incoming is going to at least let us play. But the follow-up opportunities from Mora are still pretty good, and there's a lot of X Factor left on the table, so this might not even, yeah, this might not even require that second bar. That's, Surely does not. That's the problem. You have to X there because you know he has the time and the capabilities mm. to chase you mm -hmm. down. He's gonna need more than one hit for sure on oh. Thor, but his jumping heavy is just not far. The Randy Savage, unfortunately, way too far. 
Oh my goodness, Mighty Hurricane just out of block stun. That is a raw four move if I've ever seen one. And now, oh, it just <laughs> goes for another <laughs> one. Can we see a Mighty Punish for Jabril's life? Life in this auction tournament. No, we are not going to get it to see it. Nicely done for Ramora, who is going to end up taking this three to one. But I feel like kind of got away with a couple there. Yeah, he definitely did. Jabril goes down, though. Ramora is going to move on to the grand finals now. So it's guaranteed at least a 30% split oh of this goodness. prize pool, which, again, as we said before, is unbelievably high. This is a fat prize pool for sure. I would start to get nervous now. Now I would start yeah. to get a little nervous. I mean, Ramora has been doing really well. Very okay. impressive in this bracket, but I would start to get a little bit nervous now. I Some serious agree. cheddar. Yeah, absolutely. And then coming into the other side of this now, you have course. arguably the two scariest players left in this. Uh, two players who basically both just bought their main team. So yeah. this is, uh, I mean, as Ramora, you're feeling good because you know that you're guaranteed going to at least make your investment back. But now... Waiting to see who you face. It's a big difference between first and second. It is. It really and is. And I honestly think as impressive as Monix has been, I'm sure that Remora would rather face Monix. You think? And the Ryu rather. than duel Kevin with their stuff. You think so? I, I would have to imagine if Remora, if I was making a bet and I had to bet on Remora's emotions, which I would never want to do, but if I had to, I would say we're probably more scared of Dual Kevin in this environment, but let's see if Lil Monix can uh, do us all a favor and shut me up. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, this is another... Uh, this is also uh, one of the hard things about this. This is a Midwest team kill. Uh, yeah. Difficult I mean, that's that's a close. typical thing for Combo Breaker, especially. Of course. You, you're never going to get a... <laughs> we are travelers. In the Midwest, we go everywhere. We're at Frosties. We're at Combo Breaker, you know. KIT, we've been yeah. all over to see each other over and over and over again. Uh, we keep it cool. That's the thing is, you know, this really light on Midwest beefs. We know that we really don't, we can't afford to beef with each other, to be honest. We need each other uh, as training partners. So shout out to all the Midwest wa warriors who, who hold it down. But I would still, I would so love to see either one of these players personally win that Although I, I have to give the, the slight edge to Duel Kevin, I could not personally choose a favorite between the two. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult for sure, especially as Spider-Man, who normally mm. plays that very slippery, very tough to uh, like in and out type of uh, getaway gameplay. The shots from Deadpool, Shut it plus down. not being able to actually close the distance effectively uh, because of Lariat, is going to be a rig test here. That's true. That's a very, very good way to put it. But okay. I mean, test could, he aced the test. Already got the hit. See you later. I mean, the optimal starter is pretty good. So you, you really need to keep your meter stock. You don't want to let Hawkeye come in with five bars on deck and you're depleted, right? Like, the optimal stuff really, really, really does matter uh, between these two players. So I don't blame, uh, I don't blame Monix for going for it. Oh, okay. Ooh, scary exchanges in neutral here. They're both just breezing past each other. If either one of them jumps and gets an air throw at this point, uh, they'd be they'd be dead. Maybe getting get dead characters. It's a really good block off of that. Still just trying to threaten with the web ball. Hey, and gets the launcher off the grenade, but unfortunately, no conversion. Spider Sting is the answer, though. Spider Sting is an incredibly underrated move. Uh, very, very annoying to deal with, in my experience. What's Hagger looking for here? He's just trying to keep it simple and neutral. Want to find that perfect time to jump forward and call Hawkeye to get a little bit. That's what Hagger is all about, neutral. Gaining inches. Oh, oh. mistimes the assist call there. He's not going to be able to see. That's the experience. The random You're character can be right. tough. You're absolutely right. The random character doing his job there, making things a little awkward. But Spider-Man is so... Larry? No. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the DHT to try and snipe it with Ryu. Ah, nicely done. Lil Monix looking out for that, that opportunity to use the ultimate the web throw to get out. That's really, really sharp. And we get to see a rare Dingen mode Ryu for all the four seconds. Oh, Pro no, that does not work from that distance. Probably a really terrible matchup for Ryu, if I had to guess. I'm sure a Hagger. Oh, oh what a punish, though. Oh, the Gimlet ruined it. That actually made it unsafe. That is so unfortunate. 
but we also can't kill Hagger. He's too strong. And this is a massive swing in the favor of Duel Kevin because, like I was saying, it's already really scary if the Anchor Hawkeye is coming in with more meter than you. If Hagger's still alive and doing this work, this is all free damage. Oh, this is huge. So much extra damage on Hawkeye. Really, really big stuff. Not enough, right? Just yeah. barely. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, it knocks him out of it, but not able to convert. This is going to hit. No, he dodges it. That beats it clean! He, Duel Kevin needed to be able to hit that X Factor in time, but not double tap it, right? Yeah. So it really required extreme precision to get that X Factor. Was not able to find the opportunity. So Monix goes up 1-0. Oh man. Oh, gets the air throw. This could be really gross. And that's one of the nice things about Spider-Man, too, is because of how his combos work and because Web Throw does the damage that it does, Absolutely. I, getting a throw doesn't really matter. You can still get all the damage you need. Add on to that the team synergy of being able to hard tag into Doctor Doom and just, just throw on so much more optimal damage and meter gain. But Deadpool, in spite of all that, still Yes! Oh, oh, Street Fire 6, baby. Wow, and he gets the web throw here. I We consider a snap, I think. Just get as oh, much yeah. damage as you can oh, right yeah. before the end. Just go for the snap. I think you might have secured your way into uh, into game three. I think even if you are a diehard Hagger man, that is just known. If this was Jason Kiddo, I would put that Hagger on the back. But he's going to risk it. He knows what he wants. DHC. Can't blame him. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, oh okay. Boy. It has time for the tag now, though. Spider-Man gets the cross-up, doesn't get the confirm, but still gets the hit somehow. That is so much. Yeah, because he's just going to be able to hard tag and make this very, very easy. The anchor Hawkeye for two games in a row, something that I was gassing up, coming in with that high meter, has been neutralized. It's completely shut down by Lil Monix. Definitely Lil Monix knows what they need to do. Had a chance twice. Lil Monix might be set up to get into the Grand Finals here. Finds the hit again. Deadpool is getting chucked. This is bad. This is really, this is looking kind of free. I'm not even gonna lie. Monix playing real good. Oh no, and unfortunately just drops that and into a potential happy birthday. Okay, both characters get out. Huge break from Monix there. Deadpool still has decent amount of life. So if you continue to fight, if if they choose, but an air throw is going to be more than enough. Please keep the simple. Yeah, crawler assaults right away. Just make sure you get the kill. I was nervous. And it's been very confident to just kill these characters in order. Tatsu does not connect immediately backs off. No reason to overextend. Mm -hmm. The Hagger is still a threat, though. We already saw that the team super was awkward for Hagger, though. So, Duel Kevin, if he gets a hit, needs to be really considerate about how they're going to end this combo. Okay, good push block. Buy yourself a little bit of freedom there. Try to go for the jab. Not going to work out again. Trade comes through. Always in Hagar's favor. <laughs> I'm feeling stressed for both these players. <laughs> There's so much money on the line between the two, and I'm going to just go, go ahead and round it up. Monix paid 100 bucks. Both players paid oh, you know, 100 bucks or higher for these teams. Oh, but Monix found the hit again. Goes for the snap. There's plenty of bar. Gets the hit on Hawkeye. Should be able to kill him. And then it all comes down to the dual Kevin Hagar. This would be one of the all-timers. <laughs> this, this would be up there with PZ running that Senko comeback at Evo for sure. This would be one of the all-timers. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is hard even if even if you're a great Hagger player. This is tough. Oh, and just wow. disrespect saw it coming. Monix didn't even flinch in his chair, said, I'm going to punch my ticket real quick to that grand finals. I'm making my money back and hopefully a little bit more. Absolutely. So that is going to secure Monix into the grand finals yeah. now. Has set himself up as Mr. Tong Lee himself shows him the appreciation that he deserves. It's time for the grand finals. That was Woo. a roller coaster. That all just sped right on by, man. Bloodbath after bloodbath. I got to say, now. You think you're rethinking your little prediction I, there, bud? I just got to say, now, well, let's move into the next matchup, okay? Let's 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 think about this. Remora has also shown up big with that Tron. It's so, true. If we're going to give the Ryu props, 
And we're going to give the Tron power ops. I don't, again, know that I could choose between these two. Personally, I think the room would pop, obviously, if Monix would win. But it would also be cool to see Tron win. I think either way, we're going to have a good match here. I think it's definitely going to work out. I think that uh, it all comes down to, because I'm unfamiliar, mm. how well Spider-Man can combo Tron, honestly and truly. I, I think that with, the, with how wide she is, I would assume that it would help him get there faster on flinks and give him more room for error. Rare but, combo improvement, perhaps. But also, I mean, like we've said before, with wide characters like that, when you get too close to them, the reason they're hard to combo is because they push you away. That is, so, a, that is a great point. Spider-Man yes. has tiny normals. It does have tiny normals. So the movement's going to be as important as ever for Lil Monix to keep these conversions alive. And also, the incomings. Yes. Please, meaty this Virgil. Do not let him come in and just super like he got away with on Jabril. Because yeah. that was more than enough in two of those games to just let Remort run away with it. So, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want to get my hopes up. Ramora is a villain. Ramora wants to Shang Tsung the soul out of this entire room and walk away. And say, yeah, I, I, I got Virgil and I won. Yes, that's what, that's what he wants to do. That's what all true heroes strive for. He says, all of you guys could have stood up and bid more than I did, but you didn't. And but now I'm did. here. And now I'm here. I got the brother spark. You Dude. had the chance. I mean, that's one of the things you have to talk about, and you, it's always important to remember is that everyone had a chance to buy every single one of these teams. Monday you could have had been his playing team. this. Monday you could have had his squad. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't go all in. Oh that was crazy. But God. it's time for the grand finals here. Single elimination, so one set to do it. $95 versus $80. So both players clearing technically under $100 for, this, for these teams. Oh, my God, and gets absolutely clubbed. A jumping S does a great job of stopping that. The approach from Tron here. Tron in, in more regular matchups, I like to equate her. She's like Bad Nova. She has yes. a very similar game plan. <laughs> yeah. It, it stresses me out whenever the scrambles with Spider-Man start because the buttons are so small. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's doing all the right things. Monix is doing all the right things. He's being, like... Obviously, he's a great Spider-Man player. Amazing Spider-Man player. If you don't, if you didn't know before, you obviously know now. But to be clutch in one of these tournaments, like, this is hard. I mean, we've been playing for hours at this point. I yeah. mean, really. It's been a long time. And got to go play pools after this. Virgil's down, he's man. All, luckily, he's all warmed up with his, with his real stuff That's for pools. That's true. You going to pick Ryu? You think? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. oh, another clean hit, man. Maybe he will. Look at the, the <laughs> seamless with the Tatsu extension. He's I, Yeah, I don't know if he has experience with this, but he's definitely using great as no, a proxy. No, too high, too high. Nice try, though. That's a, uh, that, is a, that is an unfortunate loss of meter there from Monix. And now with, with Remora getting something started here. <laughs> he's trying to go for the double TAT. He <laughs> was looking for the infinite. He's trying to get there. <laughs> Which is funny because already had five bars, but okay, the extension's good. Wasn't confident in his ability to kill, though. Was trying to do whatever he could. Gets the capture. Does take the kill. Ryu comes in next. Mixes up his block. And you have just to cancel. a punish. That normal is, might be one of the only minus triple-digit normals oh, that I know of. She uh, just keeps block. spinning, man. She just yeah. keeps spinning. Tron is a really cool character. Yeah, unfortunately, she's dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good patience there. Dude, the fuzzy stuff. Nice block afterwards as well. Tech comes through. Remora gets it, and he converts it. <laughs> Remora was for was for a second playing completely on instinct. That was that was a great option for Remora, getting through it all and actually finding confirm. But now on the other end of the scramble, Monix was ready with another web throw. Punish them coming down, and that's a dead Dante. One zero, Monix. Two Funny. games. Funny to see these two. Just uh, chopping it up back and forth, too. We get a yeah, little bit of laughs yeah, yeah. as we go, which is always fun to get to see. At the end of the day, I know we're, we're, uh, we're enemies when we're playing, but there's a big family here for Marvel. Amen. That's true. Okay. The oh, rare miss. The rare miss. And I think we saw a little bit about what you're talking about. Those short Spider-Man normals just not able to catch up with the weird trombone body. What? Up backs out of most of that pressure. That was good decision making. Okay. Chases him down, but misses the, the chance to actually continue on Spider-Man. Finds another confirm off the jam session. This is going to be weird. 
Oh my Come goodness. On, Are you serious? He just has those? <laughs> he could see the function, you know? He's done it enough with the zero extension. He knew that, that there was something to be worked out there. Right here, baby. DC push him as far away as possible. Stinger comes through, gets the hit on both. He is going to go for the X Factor here. It's going to be very low health Spider Man left to really defend everything. That sucks because. I mean, Spider Man is not an anchor. You can make some arguments for Zero and characters here more traditionally on point who do have some power level unlocked as an anchor, but Spider Man is really tough. Very tough. Yeah, he is one of the he's one of the only characters I can think of that I definitely see only as a point character for sure. They are really cutting it up, huh? They're having a lot of fun up on that stage. And they're both getting paid. First place, 850. Second place, 370. Is I'm laughing to the bank. I don't really. Care. Hey, <laughs> we'll figure it out. True. That's true. I mean, I that's what. But for for the record. My first place was less than second place whenever I, I held it that back then. So they'd be very, very happy. And Ramor is happy to let the Tron Bond actually just get off the hook for free after Lil Monix got the, the clean opening. Hit there, chases it down off the jam session using those Tron Bond normals. The scoops. Yeah, good range. They're just so particular. Very particular. Okay. Rapid Slash does put him in just enough block screen, gets the throw, nothing for it. Like Tatu, a great block on the cross up there. That was tricky stuff. Hmm? Are we got it? Yeah, okay. He got it once earlier. He did it to uh, Shasta Nitro. He, well, was gonna, he was gonna time him out, so we had to quit out. I remember that, and I was about to say, we could very, very well be in the similar Ooh. situation, but Lil Monk's fighting back, just gets the throw. Unfortunately, Ryu unable to get too much off of those. Confirm is good into the Shingo Hadouken. Gotta be careful with that hammer. Oh, just jabs the Gustav fire, not afraid at all. Well, Monix is showing good patience here with the Ryu. King Surfbot gets over the top, but no punish. Smart not to challenge there. Knew yeah. that Tron could recover in time, but it doesn't matter. Remora is still able to find the hits that they need. I was about to say to put this Ryu down, but still fighting. Rise okay. up. Got both, actually. Oh, man. Isn't going to X, though. Doesn't want to spend it. It's hard to argue, even though you know you're killing Dante. If you're going to pop your X-Factor with Ryu, knowing that you're leaving Anchor Virgil in the back, that's, that's a pretty tough ass. Uh, I agree. Whoa. Rapid Slash trades. Finds the Helmbreaker. Okay. Doom, a foot dive away. But look at the health on the other two characters. Actually, just a foot dive away. Um, this is so scary, but a perfect decision from Lil Monix. Waiting it out. Getting Virgil after he put himself into the corner. This is the comeback zone. Doom is the quarterback and the running back. He's everything when he has the corner. He can literally make his own plays. He can do what he wants, make it, make any comeback, but not like that. Just jumping in the air. Is that too late? Oh, okay, so it works. Woo! Dude, there was a lot of spaghetti everywhere on that last corner situation. Still manages to make it work two to one. And now we are threatening the whole damn thing. You know Ramora wants this, baby. 850 smacks, man. Dude, huge paycheck for either player. I mean, both of them already doing a great job to be able to get to this point and make some money, but the difference between first and second is huge right now. More than double. Oh, the ultimate web throw, saving that for exactly when they needed it. What's the OTG going to look like? Certain Perfect. characters have particular ways they can get out of that. Uh, Tron is not one of them. No. <laughs> Tron is not no. one of them. I think your best option is like neutral tech buffer drill, and if they mistime it, you get out. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need an air dash or something that's going to help you adjust the movement patterns. Oh, just a clean triple overhead situation from Spider-Man in the corner there. Didn't need all of them, but hey, I like it. Paying attention. Snap on Virgil, and he, even though the incoming was blocked. Oh, blocked that last overhead as well. Oh. The cross-up was deep. What is Ramor doing, man? That is something else. Blocking those insane cross-ups. That hits. Hit? No, he didn't commit. He didn't want to let it rock. I think that would have beaten it. Tough to tell, I agree. I, I I feel inclined, but Lil Monix clearly did not believe and gonna lose the Spider-Man now here. Oh, the Virgil with the Devil Trigger activated. That's a Remora classic mix-up right there. Ryu gets absolutely cooked. Dr. Doom's gonna have to survive if Lil Monix wants another chance. Okay, we're okay. alive. We're alive. Yeah, we definitely have some amount of opportunity here. Goes for the X. The jam session was already on the way to cover it. 
TAC maybe? Nope, just gonna look for the knockdown, goes for the swords. Mm. <gasps> what? Nobody's ever let me get away with that in a bracket, bro. I'll God, tell you dude. that. That's good, though, and a little bit of X Factor left, so we get the speed on the incoming. No, we're gonna choose to just keep it nice and meaty. Oh. Hard confirm for Dante to make there. It's gonna hit. No. Oh, okay. Turns it into something. Gun loops. Optimized. Prop shutter does not work at that late stage of the combo. This is scary. This is very, very scary. Back to neutral and the per Are you kidding me? Just catches him out like that. Reels him in. Wins 3 to 1. And Remora is going to be your wow. 2023 UMVC3 auction champion. Dude, off $853 a for first place. Off a grapple in neutral. Just sticks it out. Makes it work. Amazing stuff to Remora. And to Monix also for uh, making it this far. Incre just As soon as he saw Spider Man in the auction. His yeah. arm was glued up. Didn't he said, I'm in. It doesn't matter. I don't care what it takes. We'll figure it out. Yeah, made the right decision. Basically doubled their money. And, you know, nicely done by Lil Monix and gave the crowd a treat. You know, yeah. I like to see the good sportsmanship from the players, man. This is, I've, I've repeated it over and over. I, I hate to do this, but it is very true. This is seriously one of the most special energies that you can experience. Mm -hmm. Whether it's bidding, whether it's playing, commentating, it's fun for everybody. And the spirit is always high. A little, uh, Okay. I guess all right, that's all be. right. We don't have no medals for you. We don't have no trophies for you. But, you know, we got the thing that uh, every Marvel player loves the most. Money. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Let's give it up one more time for Ramora winning. Hey, is this, is this two in a row? Damn, two in a row. Y'all let Ramora win everything, huh? Wow, so two auction tournaments in a row. I, I mean, did not realize that. As time can go on, I mean, Ramora might try to make it uh, two Evos in a row here. There's a lot more Marvel to be played this year, KP, <laughs> including the regular tournament today that's right guys if you are looking for more marvel versus capcom 3 good news you really don't have to go anywhere you can hang around stick with us for just a little while longer the pool sections of the ultimate marvel versus capcom 3 broadcast will be coming up right after this so yeah go nowhere what a pleasure a pleasure for sure but yep like you said pools will be here in just a moment combo breaker 2023 continues to roll and so shall we we'll be back in just a couple minutes You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick.